Hello and welcome to the RPG Blender, where we give lesser played games and forgotten settings the roll the dice they deserve. <laughs> I'm your host, Game Master George, and today we are bringing you our first live grab bag gaming, where we take a system that we have never played before, and we go through it from very beginning to very end of our completed one-shot adventure. Today's game is View Scream. This is an online sci-fi horror LARP. So it is a game that is designed to be played with Zoom or Google Hangouts, things like that. So it's perfect for this modern day that we live in, and also perfect for Twitch. So I figured, let's go ahead and get some of our fellow Twitch streamers in on this. So, for starters, let's go ahead and welcome in... Kate, Noob Mama, thank you for joining. Care to introduce yourself? <laughs> oh, hang on. Can you hear her now? <laughs> oh, they couldn't hear me. Ha ha ha. Can you hear her now? Thank you, A Rose in Jersey. Oh, and man, I was, I was talking about the secrets of the universe and everything, and they missed it. <laughs> it's too bad. Uh, but hi, I'm Kate. Thanks for having me. This is great. Uh, I'm also a noob mama. I do comics and all sorts of nerdy stuff, Twitch streaming. So I'm, like, super excited to be here. And we're excited to have you here. And now <laughs> we'll move on to... Craig from Do and Die Gaming. Oh, Salaru. Oh, and Kate Dubs. Thank you for the follows. <laughs> uh, as we progress, when we get to the in-character bits, we're going to be very in-character. So please, if we don't acknowledge your chat, it's not because we don't love you and we don't, we aren't appreciative of you being here. It's just because we are in-character and trying to keep on with it. But for now, we'll definitely be... Oh, Huli Kulani. I apologize if I butchered that pronunciation, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> Uh, anyway, here we are. Welcome in, Craig from Do and Die Gaming, a regular on our show. Craig, care to introduce yourself? I thought you did a great job. I mean, personally <laughs> speaking, I thought that was fantastic. No, hi, everybody. Uh, Craig from Do and Die Gaming, uh, another streamer here uh, and an active participant to the RPG Blender, which uh, if you haven't checked it out, you should. It's great, and you're already here, so go check it out on uh uh, Spotify and YouTube and that's right it's a reverse plug I'm plugging you now on the on the podcast that I'm on but anyway uh, I'm looking forward to this I am uh, scared and excited and you all should be as well <laughs> all right next up we have another regular on the show please welcome Greg say hello, hello everyone Greg. introduce yourself How's everyone doing? It's me, uh, Greg. I'm a regular contributor here at the uh, at the RPG Blender, and I'm very excited for a spooky night of live action role playing. All right, glad to have you as well. So next, we'll move to the last of our regulars here with Rich. Say hello. Introduce yourself, Rich. Oh, you are muted, but it's not my fault this time. Hey. Muted himself. <laughs> All right. It was. It was. It was me the whole time. Uh, it's me. It's Rich. You all already know me from the other stuff we do, or you don't. In which case, as Craig said, watch that. All right. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what an intro! <laughs> what an <Yeah>. intro! <laughs> okay, and yes, uh, you wanna if you want to mention your own Twitch stream, feel free. Oh, sometimes I twitch uh, like twice a month on full moons if uh, feeling's <laughs> just right. So, you know, very regular, very reliable channel. Or Absolutely. If we look at a mirror. Dr. Dr. Mr. Freckles. Yeah, you have to say Dr. Mr. Freckles three times into a mirror, other things like that. <laughs> yeah, really dark. Him. It's got to yeah. be dark. Um, All right. And then I'll give you bad medical advice. <laughs> and for our last participant, we have a special guest. Please welcome Bella. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm Bella. I do, I'm an actor and I do a lot of cosplay, but this is my first Twitch ever, actually. So I'm really Ooh. excited to be here. I'm so happy you guys are having me and I can't wait for a spooky time. <laughs> well, 
That's good, because we are going to be diving into this in just a moment. So, to talk a little bit about how this system works. Each one of these people have been assigned a character. That you can think of this sort of in terms of a murder mystery game, but played out online, and with horror and sci-fi goodness. So each one of them has been assigned a character. This character has a few personality traits that they've been given, as well as probably one crisis or quirk that's going to happen, and two emergencies. In order for them to survive this night, they need to solve both of their emergencies. If they fail to do so by the end of the uh, adventure, then they will not make it out of this crisis alive. Now, each one of them cannot solve their own problems. So each of them has a number of solutions that they can offer to the other players. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they have some solutions that they can offer to the other players, but those solutions might not all work. And the people offering the solutions, they're aware if the solution that they're offering works or not. The person that they're offering it to does not. And there are only a limited number of successful solutions to go around. So in order for them to survive the night, they're going to have to be judicious about who they're giving their successes to to make sure that the right people are making it out alive. Well, are there any questions before we begin? From our cast or the people watching? <laughs> How do I win? I don't want to die. I just don't want to die. It's all an adventure, man. I don't want to die. Oh. I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah. Then I guess we'll get started. This is a message from the crew of the biomechanical starship Escle Asclepius. We're trapped. I'm on the bridge. The other crew members are elsewhere. We are a medical team on a mission of mercy. Our ship has been beset by several crises and our lives are in danger. Can anyone read me? If anyone is out there... Damn. Crew members, do you hear me? Surgery? Medical? Anybody? Surgery. Surgery. This is bridge. Bridge. Surgery. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Surgery. How are things you? down by you? Where are you? It's not. It's, it's really bad. It's not good. Um, I'm on the, I'm in the operating room. Um, it's a mess. It's a mess. What's I don't really know. It? I don't really, I couldn't really tell you that. I couldn't really tell you that. Um, you know. Are you okay? Is everything okay? I don't know how to answer that question. A couple people on this ship have been acting a little out of whack, in my opinion. Where, where, or what does it look like by you right now? Oh, uh, don't worry about me right now. It's fine. Uh, okay. For you, I'm going to try to get in touch with some of the others. Okay. And we'll, we'll figure this out. We'll find okay. some, find some ways to deal with this. Okay. Okay. Engineering out. Or bridge. Bridge. Bridge to engineering. Engineering. Can you hear me? Oh, this is working. Hey. <laughs> Everything's really messed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it's good to hear your voice, though. Where are you? Um, I am held up. I ran. And then I took three lefts. You know, because I was by my place. And then I ran down corridor A to corridor B. Okay. And then past Cheryl. Do you know, have you ever had some of Cheryl's uh, Kanish? It's really good. It's really, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 I'm, uh, navigation. Yeah, yeah. The, the, everything went dark and I uh, 
got inside a navigation and I pulled out the wires to the door. So it's sealed up pretty good right now. I could fix them if I wanted, but no one else is getting in here. I okay. hope. Is there anything going on by you? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Like, what? what, what is it? Is there something we can help with? Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I saw um, Davidson um, alive, and I was waving at him, and then I turned back around when I got the door open, and then I think I saw half of him go into the ceiling. Uh, but that doesn't sound right, you know? Uh, so I'm just gonna... Half? Half of him? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the upper half, the good half, the half you don't uh, want to be oh. gone, you know, when you think about it. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's are... that's how my night's going. How are you? Uh, I, I am the Void. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check on Cryo. I'll, I'll be back to deal with your problems in just a moment, okay? Cryo, bridge, and bridge to Cryo, can you hear me? Ah, yes. It's good to hear from you, Bridge. How uh, is the report up there? I am the Void. Uh, Cryo, how are things by you? Where are you? Uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I am currently <clears throat> locked in a room. Uh, sorry. It's a little breaking up with you. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, breaking up. Are you able to hear me properly? Is something wrong with the comms down there? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm not quite sure. There appears to be something outside the room that I'm in. Something? Uh, yes, you... it, uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, I, I think I would need some assistance. I'm not sure quite what could be done. Okay, uh, are, are you okay to hold tight yes, for a moment? I, yes, in the purification lab. <laughs> Send help as soon as you can. Okay, great. I will find somebody to help you in just a moment. I just need to figure out who else is left alive here, okay? Very well. Good. Carry on, Bridge. Hold on. All right. Triage. Triage, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Bridge, is that you? Finally. Okay. Okay, there's at Can least... Can you please help me down here? I'm in the control room and I'm reaching my limit is all I have to say right now. I'm, I'm sure you are. Uh, we're we're all struggling out here. We're going to try to find you the help that you need. What exactly is going on down there? Oh, well, for starters, everything has gone has gone sideways. But down here in the control room, number one problem is that the life support is offline, and I I'm surely you can understand how dire that is, especially considering everything else that has happened here. We need to take care of these people. I've got serious temperature fluctuations and the oxygen levels are dropping consistently. Please, I need help if we are going to save more lives. Okay. Yep. We, we will get you the help that you need. I, I need to finish checking out, see what resources we have here. But as soon as right. I'm done, we'll be back to deal with that. That sounds like a very important problem to deal with. Yes. Thank okay. you. Of course. Bridge out. Medical. Medical, this is Bridge. Can you read me? M medical in. Uh, oh, medical, good. I got problems. Where are you, Medical? Where do you think I am? I'm in the med bay where I'm supposed to be. Hmm. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, so, w what's going on by you? What problems are there? <laughs> Uh, well, besides the crash, uh, I'm not doing so well. I'm having trouble seeing straight. I think, uh, I think something got me. Something got you? I'm bleeding bad. Okay. Well, I've, I've heard from surgery, triage, engineering, and cryo. Uh, surgery or triage, maybe one of them will be able to help you. Would you like me to put you in contact with them? Yes, yes, immediately. Okay. I don't have long. Who would you like me to put you in contact with? Uh, uh, surgery. I'm, I'm going to need surgery. Okay, okay. If it's that serious, yes, I'll get surgery on the line. Wait, no, wait, wait. No. Surgery. Injury. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Surgery, this is Bridge. Yes, uh, there seems, medical seems to be having some kind of dire wound. Can you please oh. try and help him out? Um, where are you? 
I'm in med bay. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on. I think. Listen, listen, listen. What's what's? Tell me what's going on. What's going on with you right now? I'm bleeding. You're bleeding. I'm bleeding bad. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see here. Okay. We should modify the cardiac engine. Set up the ship's heart rate. She'll overcompensate, but but it's just fine. Just keep it within parameters, okay? Is, is that gonna help me with my with my cut? I mean, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Given everything that I'm seeing, if you could see what I'm seeing right now, just 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 take my word for it, okay? Be, be, do you have anything with you? Can you can you like close it with anything? Uh. Nothing. I mean, the crash messed up medbay bad. Uh, I I haven't had a chance to check out supplies, check out equipment, make sure things are warm. I, I need time to run the diagnostics, and I'm I don't have much time. Surgery. Oh God. Okay. Um, hold on. This is. If you could just see what I'm. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta listen to me. All right. You gotta trust me. I'm gonna. All right. Look. Look. If you can. I, I, I can we get in touch with triage? I, I, I believe triage has got some. What I've taught triage, I believe she'll be able to figure something out. I just, I just want a second opinion, but quick. Okay, uh, all right, all right. Well, do, but if you don't listen, I'm just. All I, right, I, I mean, but just tell quick, me. please. All right, I'm getting triage okay. in here. <laughs> triage, triage. This is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What right. do you have? Uh, medical seems to have sustained some kind of serious wound. I'll Is there anything that here. you can do to help? Triage, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I got a bad cut in my gut. It's oh, yeah. definitely... It's potentially hemorrhaging. I need help. Uh, um, all right. Um, Surgery has got an idea, but I want to bounce it off of you. Uh, well, all right, what's the idea? Um, Listen. Go ahead. Listen, you got to modify the cardiac engine, speed up the ship's heart rate. Do you understand? Um, mm. I, I suppose uh, perhaps I can, um, it, it, maybe I, I can overload the genetic transponder, reconfigure the ship's DNA. That might be able yes. to help. Yes. Mm. All right. Yes. Um, sure. Sure. I'll get to it. Medical, are you okay with that solution? Uh. I don't think I have time to argue. No, you don't. So perhaps you should let me do my work. If anybody knows what to do, I'm guessing it's you. All right, get you it did done. teach me. All right, triage. Get to it. We'll check back with you in a few minutes to see you, uh, if this was successful or not. All right, hang in there, medical. Bridge hang out. in there. Okay. Uh, medical, we'll check back with you after that solution has been made. Surgery, is there anything, would you, would engineering or cryo, any problem that they might be able to help for you? Well, um, look, if I'm just going to tell you the truth, I'm feeling very, very disoriented. There's, mm. there's these memories. They're inside my head and they're not, they're not mine. I don't know what they are, but they're there and I keep seeing them over and over and over again. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. And I don't. Maybe it's... I... Things are moving and they... And they speak. And there are so many memories. <laughs> maybe something with the cryo sleep went wrong. Let me get cryo in here. Uh, maybe they'll okay. have some ideas on this. Right. Cryo, this is Bridge. Cryo, can you read me? Yes, I can. I can hear you. I not have cryo. to keep it down. Not cryo. Not cryo. Not cryo. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, hello, surgery. Hope you're doing okay. <clears throat> Bridge, uh, if I can uh, just say very quickly, uh, whatever was banging on the door outside, uh, it appears to be doubling its efforts. Uh, I will need some help very shortly uh, on the hallway outside uh, the purification lab. <clears throat> All right. All right, let me bring engineering into this. Uh, triage and medical are busy right now, so I'm going to bring in engineering. Hopefully someone has some kind of solution here that can help one of you out. Engineering. Uh oh, en hey, hey, oh. Engineering. Good to see you, engineering. 
Hey, you so, too, Cryo. You seem so calm. Yeah, I've been uh, dipping into a bit of uh, yeah things that we use to help the sh ship when it's stressed out, you know? Yeah. 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 Anyway, what can I help you with? I'm still, <laughs> still got it. Okay. Engineering, Listen. we have two separate issues going on here right now. Cryo is being assaulted by some kind of creature outside their room, and Surgery is dealing really? with some implanted memories, it sounds like. Is there anything that you can do for either of those situations? Oof. All right, so let me think. So we have uh, something banging down on a, somebody banging on a door. Doors are probably going to last a good while longer, but gnarly dreams and memories, that's probably a lot worse when you think about it because that's uh, it's going to affect your ability to help everybody else. So. I can't. Can't what? There's just so many memories. There's so many, and they're on. They're layered. They're on top of each other. They keep Cedric, coming. In. Cedric, you're you're getting hysterical. Please describe the nature of the memories. What kind of memories are we dealing with? Angry ones, bloody ones. And these memories are not your own, you say? They are not mine, Cryo. They are not. Hey, Cryo. Uh, when's the last like a uh, dream enhancement malfunction you guys had down there? Uh, well, it wasn't for uh, a couple of weeks, at least. Um, if I recall correctly, the last phase that we, uh, we worked with it was activating the ship's hormones. Uh, since we are integrated in with the ship, uh, if I could access the, uh... the penal starboard units, perhaps if I could activate that, the hormones will uh, reassess what's, what's in her. I'm, I'm not sure how, but I could try something like that. We would oh, have to come no, down. That, that makes cases. sense. Yeah, because sometimes the ship's... Uh, uh bio non-organics get mixed in with the the cryo uh pods mm. so essentially the ship's brain chemicals get leak inside of the people's minds you're getting uh, a, sh a collection of shared memories from all of the previous crew perhaps ones who have recently um also passed uh, to put it delicately yeah uh, also the ship's chemicals that affect its being aren't the same ones that affect yours things that might cause happiness or uh even pain for you might do the complete opposite for the ship it's it, so things can be precisely different it's a very it, it's not like us it's it's uh, alien in nature um, engineering if i may say that was very well put you're quite clever hey cryo how's it going uh, all right so not to interrupt the buddy buddy talk there does it sound like we have a workable solution <sighs> If you trust Cryo, then that's fine. If not, I can I can uh, MacGyver something. Surgery, probably. it's it's your call. I'd rather go with engineering at this point. Cryo's been acting very interesting to me as of late, late recent events. Mm -hmm. Well, you are definitely hysterical, and the effects of these memories has definitely compromised you. That is all I can say for your choice in this matter. That's a very oh. convenient thing for you to say. Very well. I will have to deal with this problem outside my door in some other way. Bridge, please contact me again when you have a solution working. Thank you. Of course. Stay safe, Cryo. Cryo. Stay safe. Um, all right. So if I was going to do something with you, uh, let's see. If you have something going wrong inside of your mind, then and it is part of the ship's chemicals, and it's not supposed to be your chemicals, I'm in navigation, so I could hotwire your communicator to transmit um essentially little self-destruct uh notes uh, uh, the ship uh, has these things inside of it that let uh sometimes it, the reason that the ship can't become uh, cancerous and stuff is because we have a way to automate uh certain blocks of cells and get rid of them kind of instantaneously in a localized area all right so i can push that frequency in and then it'll just get rid of the ship's chemicals inside your brain if that exists um if it's that doesn't work then you know it won't work, but as long as it does, then it will, but it'll essentially fry those bad boys. So if it doesn't work, what's the alternative? If it doesn't work, then that means that it wasn't the ship chemicals, uh, but I think it is. Mm, or or, I see what or you're if saying. it's actually, I guess, even if it was a foreign compound, it could work because it balances itself off of your metabolic rate. So you know what? If it's, if it's not you, it'll work. Let's uh, let's do it. Don't really have any much of it. I can't. Let's All do it. All right. You All right, second. engineering, go. get to work on that. We'll check back in in a moment with you in surgery. Uh, for right now, I need to check back in with triage and medical to see how their situation is going. Yeah, of course. This right. is left and this is right, right? Uh, You're in good hands. We're okay. going to fix this thing. All right. 
Fridge out. All right. Triage. Triage. This is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. And I just right. have to say, I would just like to throw out there, not only is life support still offline where I am right now, but my... How do I say this? I am deteriorating on a molecular level right now. When I came out of stasis, my genetic material was, how do I say this, incorrectly reassembled. So there's quite a lot going down here in the control room, and I desperately need some help. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me just get medical in here. We're going to check on what you yes. were working on. Yes. Uh, and then we'll probably get cryo in here. First. Cryo should be able to look at that genetic issue. Uh, engineering's currently dealing with a different problem. Uh, mm. And then we'll have him take a look at the life support. But meanwhile, yes, medical. Medical, this is Bridge. Can you read me? Bridge, yes, this is medical. Okay, great. Triage, how did this go? Was Were we successful? Yes, it went quite well, actually. It was exactly what I thought it would be. So, doing just fine for medical. <laughs> oh, okay. You know. Medical, how are you feeling? Gotta say, I think I'm gonna live. Glad you picked up some of what I taught you there, Triage. Of course. That's great. All right, let me get Cryo in here and we can have him take a look at that genetic reshuffling problem. Please. All right. Cryo, Cryo, this is Bridge. Can you read me? Yes, Bridge. I can hear you. I'm reading you loud and clear. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, triage, could you go ahead and explain to Cryo what's going on here? This is a bit above... <laughs> my pay grade cryo i need i need you to listen and we we should act rather quickly here um i'm sort of deteriorating molecularly and it's it's not very enjoyable my <sighs> genetic material was incorrectly reassembled upon coming out of stasis and i can feel it and it's it's not great so if you could do something please uh, and you say this problem occurs when you came out of stasis triage Yes, darling, and it's getting worse in every passing minute, but as soon as I came out of stasis, I was focused on life support being down, but now I'm concerned about this. Very interesting. Can you describe your, um, uh, how it feels? Is it painful? What are the symptoms that you're experiencing? It's a burning from within. It is a burning, it is a discomfort, this tingling sensation, and I just, um, sort of my my vision is going a little and i really need to focus on what i'm doing cryo here, so. she's dying very well no i i have a solution i was trying to work with surgery before but i think this might be the trick for you as well if i access the pineal starboard units i can reactivate the ship's hormones these hormones once they enter your bloodstream they should be able to reintegrate with your system and correctly assemble the uh, incorrect uh, genetic material mm. uh, will right, you uh, be able to do that <laughs> <coughs> Cry, are you doing all right? Uh, <laughs> well, talking about <coughs> dying at the molecular level, I uh, appear to have been exposed to some kinds of radiation. Uh, I took a tissue sample, and it uh, does look like my cells are deteriorating, but <coughs> we should deal with what the problems of the ship are for now, and then we can get to me. <coughs> all right. Um, yes, no, let's continue. I think that sounds great, and I'm, I'm fine trying whatever we can at this point, and then we can... Of course. Now, hold on a second. I'm not saying that this is my expertise, but it just came to mind. Maybe if we just uh, reset the ship's elementary compressor, uh, just reformatting, it it'll, it would reformat the whole digestive process. Uh, yes, but the, the digestive process, how does that uh, help affect uh, for the, the molecules jazz that are incorrectly assigned? The idea would be the reformatting process would help the molecular structure to reformat. It seems that the current setup is what's harming triage. So if the if we reset it, the molecular structure starts to reformat in the proper format. Can but if it is itself. not correctly assigned, it would not know how to assign them. You need the hormones because they are genetically tied to each of the crew members. I agree with your assessment, medical, but I think as this is an issue with the cryostasis, I might be better suited to handle this. I do think cryo is on the right road here, I have well, to say. It's your call, Triage, which solution you'd like to go with. No offense, Medical, but I think Cryo is more in the right direction, so I'd rather go with his expertise in this instance. Okay. Thank you, Triage. <clears throat> All right. I will get to work uh, accessing the starboard unit. <clears throat> Great. Thank you. Cryo, Triage, we'll check back in later. Bridge out. All right. Uh, medical, I'll be right back with you. I just need to check in with surgery and engineering to see how their uh, most recent problem went. All right? 
Understood. Keep me in the loop. Of course. Engineering. Engineering, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Bridge. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, I'm going to get surgery on the line, then we can talk about your your attempt. All right? Okay. Surgery. Surgery, this is yes. Bridge. Can you Bridge. hear me? Great. Bridge. All right, I've got yes. engineering on the line. Engineering, how did it go? Um, so I, uh, as long as you kept the head, the uh, uh, communicator on, um, I would have pushed the signals through, which should have uh, essentially fried any foreign uh, brain compounds in there. So should be right as rain. Uh, okay, yeah. so it seems like it worked from your end, engineering? Seems it's, yeah. Great. Surgery, how are you feeling? Are any more strange memories? No, no, it's calmed down. I feel a little bit more like myself. Um, Great. I'm a little, yeah, I, I think I can... I can think straight. <laughs> Somebody's okay. got on the ship. That's great. <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh, well, great. Thank you, engineering. Thank you for handling Thank that you, problem. engineering. Oh, uh, also, and... some of the vents are blocked off with that body that got put in them, um, so people might start suffocating. Probably not a huge deal, but it is probably a very big deal. Uh, so there's that. Yeah, that sounds like a huge deal. Uh, to engineering, who, who can I get in touch with? Who would you like me to pull in here to help a you? A body. Oh, not a whole body, like half of a mangled body. Oh, right. Oh, you, said right. That, uh... you said that. I do have a memory of that. That's so is there anything that you can do to help that... engineering? Let me think for one second. Let me see. We have... Hmm. You know, let me get medical in here as well. Uh, maybe they'll have an idea while you're thinking about this. Medical? Medical, this is Bridge. Medical here. Medical, uh, we have a situation with a body. I don't know if there's anything you'll be able to do, any ideas you can come up with, but we have surgery looking at it as well. So if you have anything engineering, could you just explain the problem from the beginning? Okay, so when I was running to um, navigation and I took the initial curve, I saw uh, Benson there, the, the lead science officer, and I was waving for him to come with me. Uh, in the navigation and he was behind me. And then by the time I got the door open, because obviously navigation is not my area. So it wasn't like just a swipe a card, get in. So I got it open. When I turned around, uh, his top half got pulled into the vents. Uh, and then I was just checking the readings and stuff while I was helping uh, surgery. And it turns out that it's actually blocking a lot of the vents, which is definitely a big problem for me, but it, I'm assuming it's just going to be a big problem for everybody. Well, did you try to Soon. try to help him? Were you with him or did it just? No, he was like a good, I want to say 15 meters away because he was checking, you know, where the bend is, the tri bend. Yes, I know. The the tri -bend. He was at the tri bend and he was kind of looking around trying to see what was happening. And you left him on his own. Why weren't you with him? Why? If no, I was him, right. He might have not been grabbed. He was 50. He was down the hall. He was saying he, he literally told me to get the door open. and He was just checking. He was seeing if anybody else was coming. Then when I look back, lights went out, shadow, plop. It was uh, very stressful. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, Medical me surgery, too. anything that you can probably help with here? Any I'm ideas? Th I'm thinking I could perhaps decrease pressure to the arterial hyperdrive, to the arterial, arterial hyperdrive, mm -hmm. slow the flow oh. of the blood to that part of the ship, and then maybe... If it's if it's a little less of a flow, it can just so essentially like the less blood will make it less uh, tense. Yes, I mean the ship. The she's, yeah, she's definitely stressed right now. Yeah, and if she can, if maybe maybe if there's a little bit of a calming of that, less pressure, maybe it can clear out. That sounds horrendous, but no, I mean, I'm sure Benson wouldn't want to suffocate all of us. Jesus, that makes sense. On the contrary, I think a, a better course of action would be to reroute to the cervical compensator. I'm pretty right. sure that if we were to do that, it would work. So maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, possibly. It's a non-zero chance, but yeah, cervical compensator. That's going to be the way that we'll be able to reroute and resolve this issue. Hmm. So cervical compensator or, or help my girl relax. I like helping my girl relax. We're going to do that. Let's do that surgery. Not medical. I respect your opinion, but I mean, the ship is just really upset right now. All right. All right. I will get right. I'll get right on that. Get to it. 
Uh, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. <sighs> Medical, thank you for the suggestion. I I'm sure it'll be of use at some point. That's a good idea. All right. For right now, I'm going to go get in touch with Cryo and Triage, see how their own problem went. All right, bridge out. Cryo? Cryo, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes, Bridge. I can hear you very well. Thank you. <clears throat> Great. And Triage, Triage, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Cryo, how did it go? Oh, you're so tingly. Uh, it seemed to have appeared to work. Uh, how are you feeling, Triage? The hormones have uh, successfully bonded with your genetic material, and they should be reintegrating everything properly at the moment. <clears throat> it, it feels a bit like when you're... Your arm falls asleep, you know what I'm talking about, but it's mm, yes. better than the burning sensation the I was dealing with. Yes. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Of course, Triage. <clears throat> Happy to Great. Oh, Cryo, Cryo. Cryo. Are you, are you okay? What, like, what can we do for you? What's the most pressing problem for you? <laughs> well, uh, there are two pressing problems at the moment, but uh, I don't appear to have very long if the, the radiation that I was exposed to continues to eradicate mm -hmm. me. <laughs> All right. We've already got triage in here. I'm going to go grab medical. Uh, hopefully yes. between the two of them, they can come up with a workable solution to right. get you taken care of. All right. Very well. Medical. Thank you, Bridge. Medical, I hope you had a nice short break there. Uh, yes, we have cryo you. here. Cryo's having his own problems. <laughs> Uh, Cryo, could you go ahead and tell Medical what's going on? Yes, of course. Uh, while I was uh, accessing uh, some of the equipment before the malfunction, uh, when a panel in front of me exploded, I, I appeared to be exposed to some sort of radiation. Uh, my radometer was not on me at the time, but of course, uh, I went back to the lab and took a tissue sample, and my cells are currently deteriorating. Uh, I appear to be entering a sort of uh, phase right now there. <coughs> My lungs are starting to shut off, as well as my body temperature is plummeting very rapidly. <laughs> is there anything you can do in your professional medical opinion? <laughs> your cells are deteriorating. I, I, I just don't know. Um, the best thing I have is uh, perhaps I can get the optic scanner up and running. We can just get a vis better visual on what's happening, but medical, I mean... I. Do you have anything more complex than that? Hmm. I mean, in theory, we could overload the neural turbine. Push it mm. into red, the ship will push it back down, triggering a cortical reaction. And you think this cortical reaction will stem against the radiation? <clears throat> it could. Well, I'm... I have to be honest with you, I'm not quite certain when it comes to this kind of thing. As a medical officer, I trust your opinion. If you think this will work, I will... Be happy to have your assistance. Well, we can give it a try. All right. Very well. <clears throat> Medical, cryo, let's see if this works. Triage, thank you for coming in here, and uh, I'm going to go check in with surgery. Thank you for your medical opinion, doctor. Thank you all. I'll get to cryo out. You. Bridge out. Okay. Surgery, engineering, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? I can I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you I hear can. me? Okay. Uh, How did well, it go? look, listen. It didn't. It doesn't. She doesn't seem to be accepting what I'm trying to do here. It's not. It's not. The the result is not as I had planned. Mm. Bummer. All it's right. uh. It seems uh, for lack of better phrasing, that the body is just stuck. It's okay. just, it's just lodged. And this, I thought, I thought taking the blood out would help it move, get, it's not, it's not, I can't. It's jam jammed in there. Yes. All right. Hey, I'm, Thank I'm sure you tried your best, you know, I'm sure there were no other solutions to open you and you really, you really gave it your all. And I, Th and I Thank you for trying that. surgery. We really yeah. appreciate it. Uh, engineering, we'll, we'll do what we can to do this, I, I'm sure we're going to be able to fix this eventually. We just need to find the right solution, something that's going yeah. to be able to it's, it's, drive it's, it home. It's, it's all right. I just just make sure everybody stays safe, you know? We're going to do our best. Also, there's something running around in the walls in here, so. I'm Side sorry, note. what? There's something in the walls just running around. It skitters, that... goes away, 
I think bangs on something. Maybe that's what Cryo was talking about. Yeah. And then it skitters back through the walls. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably a big problem. Well, I like breathing, so, I mean, skittering, I mean... Yeah. Uh, I can get... Tri Let me get triage in here. Cryo and Medical are working on their own thing right now. So, triage? Triage, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Just still working at this life support issue, but what's happening? Life support? That sounds important. We should probably fix it. Engineering, you're here. You're the perfect person for this. Sorry, mm. why were you... Why were you... Go ahead. What What's going on? Oh, the ship... It's messed up. There's stuff in here. Did you know that? Lots of stuff. Um, can you specify, please, engineering? Oh, there's like monsters and stuff on the ship. Monsters? Oh, yeah. We have monsters in the ship. Nobody told the triage about this. I feel like this is a pretty big deal, guys. We're trying to so deal there... with the problems as they come. No, uh, hey, bridge, bridge, as I bridge. Can. I apologize. That came off confrontationally. And I just want to retract that and say you're doing a great job. Okay. All right, engineering. Why don't we? Why don't hey, we try to focus hey, on, on what's happening? Hi. Yeah, engineering. life support. I feel Pleasure like all always. of us breathing is a very big deal. Yes, it's very important. So why didn't we do a, a tit for tat here? So uh, why don't you perhaps try to help me with my issue with life support? So we can save some lives that are left, and maybe I can help you with the whole monster thing, perhaps. Well, I feel like in tying into life support. The vent problem, or is the vent problem royally mucked vent, up now, Bridge? Vent, pro all right. I think we can probably try another solution. It should be able to work. Uh, we just need to find the right one. All right. So, if you want, uh, let me see. What's wrong? What's wrong with life support? Uh, well, life support is. Is she offline. breathing in? It's offline. Uh, there are oh. terrible temperature fluctuations, her... and the oxygen levels are dropping, so it's it's quite dire. So it's not completely gone. They're just dropping kind of slowly? Uh, I would not say slowly. We have very little time to save these lives. Oh, you no, know, but you know what I mean. But it's not, it hasn't stopped, yeah? Well, of course not, or else I'd be okay, screaming have you tried... everyone. No, yeah, that's fine. So maybe it's the secondary lungs. So the ship, as it goes through, kind of like has this filter feeding process where it gets in a bunch of space dust and stuff and turns those compounds into breathable air oh. and food and other stuff, uh, just based on the particles that kind of slam into it. And it takes that to fuel itself, but then takes what it can as far as the out and turns that into food for these algae that kind of live inside mm. of its, uh, what I like to call the baby lungs, because they look like little lungs compared, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, anyway, but that's probably where the issue might be. So there might be a foreign compound in here, judging by the fact that there are bioorganic creatures on the ship that are ripping people in half and skittering around and banging on doors and stuff. So there could be a uh, like uh, compounds in there that are messing with the algae. So I can probably uh, get a sample of that probably from, because the, the vents are where it's scattering is right inside. So I'll just reach my hand in there, get some of that, try and reverse engineer something to attack mm -hmm. anything that shares that molecular structure in the life support and then get rid of it. All right. Um, sure. All right. Also, there's a big, there's a body that's apparently wedged really good in a vent, um, half of a body. Its bones, apparently, according to surgery, are kind of like catching. It's, 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 it's on the... stuck. It's All right, why didn't, why didn't you just get a broom and just... No, no, it's you... like, it's it's over 20 meters down the hall. Um, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, tried to, I tried to decrease blood flow and uh, it Turns didn't... out it constricted a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's um... really, really clogged and... Uh, and I, what I'm doing over here doesn't seem to be helping it. All right, yeah, all right. Surgery, um, I'm glad you tried, uh, but we'll find yeah. a solution that will work. Mm -hmm. I may have something you, for Bridge. the vents. Yeah, that would be great, because then everyone can breathe, because this probably affects a few rooms. So there's there's a, uh, the the diastolic capacitor, right? And of course, if I shut that down for just a few minutes, we'll just let the chambers fill with blood. Right, if you're following me, because mm -hmm. then what we'll do is we are going to purge the entire ventricle into the air ducts. So perhaps oh. if we do that, it'll, it'll, it'll sort of be like a broom, but a broom on steroids, do you understand? Like a blood broom? A blood broom, of course, engineering, a blood broom. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or you just tell people to get their ponchos ready. I'm sh uh, sure. Yes, a let's after, find our um, ponchos. <laughs> of course. I'll get right on that. All right. All right, are you guys well, good with these solutions? 
Yeah. All right. Sure. Then you two get to work on them. Uh, surgery, again, thank you for trying. I'm going to go check in with cryo and medical, and we're going to we're gonna see what's going on there. All right. All right. Thank you, Bridge. Thank you, thank you, Bridge. Bridge out. All right. Let me see. Triage, let me get rid of you. All right, medical. Medical, can you hear me? Medical here. All right, let me get Cryo in here. Cryo, can you read me? Yes, I can read you loud and clear, Bridge. Thank you. All right. Uh, how did it go? Well, looks like the reset made the effect. Uh, how do things re feel over there for you, Cryo? Things <sighs> look like they're reading at a regular level for me. A lot better. Thank you, medical. Great. Very much appreciated. Uh, I'm feeling a lot warmer already. <laughs> uh, now, what was your problems that you were having? Or was it uh, Triage was saying something about the oxygen being off? Uh, oh. Yes, Triage and Engineering are working on that on their issues right now. Uh, then perhaps, Medical, you could help me with something. Um, I have been able to uh, further analyze what is happening outside in the hallway uh, uh, since your treatment has uh, helped me a little bit. And I've noticed, uh, I think I've come to a scientific conclusion that the things that are attacking in the halls appear to be giant uh, leukocytes, uh, enormous white blood cells uh, that have attacked and killed most of the crew. Uh, there is one currently in the maintenance corridor, uh, just past the, the three, you know where the three is, the bend, uh, and it is trying to smash down some of the doors. Uh, I, I don't know how, but if you could help me, uh, perhaps flush it out or something, or, or deal with it, I'm not quite certain what I can do for my position here. Giant white blood cells. Ah, yes, Danka, uh, and leukocytes. Mm -hmm. Leukocytes. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a second. Let me just take a look at my... Uh, my options are slim over here, Cryo. Uh, uh, I fear they are for many of us, but whatever you can do to help, uh, it's the most pressing issue for me at the moment, and I'm not certain if it would start banging down some other doors, it could get into other rooms where the rest of the crew is currently hiding. And I, I guess I should mention this uh while they're trying to fix their own problems triage and engineering uh there was a warning that you might want ponchos uh because of the solution that they're trying so if you have one feel free uh ponchos on i'll keep this on a little longer bridge could you clarify why there's a need for ponchos so uh look i i am the one facilitating communication so many of your solutions are far more intelligent than anything i can understand uh so uh, it was something about a Blood broom and baby lungs. Uh, blood so broom. I, I guess blood you're going to find out if it works. Uh, uh, Scheiße. Okay. Okay. Uh, then uh, let, let's try and deal with this and then. Crap, where's my poncho? Uh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> let's see. Maybe. Um, uh, I don't know. It's. it's in... It's an intruder in the system. I mean, it, could it be that the ship's yeah. self-defense functions aren't working properly? I believe uh, that is the case, yes. Uh, it appeared to release uh, a numerous amount of these white blood cells. Uh, I'm not sure how many of them are currently running throughout the halls of the ship, but uh, it is a pressing concern. Uh, yes, we have some time left before the oxygen runs out, perhaps an hour or so, but uh, in the case of these things, they can quite literally tear you limb from limb. So I think the most pressing issue is to deal with them uh, sooner rather than later. So, so then if that's the case, uh, maybe, maybe we, we reroute the cervical compensator for this. That think... might actually reboot the defense systems. You know, I'm pretty, pretty sure that'll work. The cervical compensator? Maybe. Uh, well, yes, I, it could. I don't uh, really know, possibly. You know, it's a non zero chance, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, if the cervical compensator is, is rerouted, as the white blood cells would no longer want to target uh, us as uh, intruders. It would it... recognize us as, as friendly. Yeah, that, that, could that makes potentially sense. Potentially work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, try your best, medical. Uh, be careful. Sure. Uh, where'd that poncho go? Rich, we will deal with this from here. Uh, see if surgery and uh, engineering and uh, triage are doing okay. All right. I'm going to go check in. Let me see here. All right. Get to work on your solutions. Let me check in on Will do. Danke. surgery first. Watch out. All right. Bridge out. All right. Surgery. 
while I'm waiting to hear uh, from French. triage and engineering, how how are things by you? Bridge, is that you? It is. Bridge? Surgery? So, my first issue, it seems the memories are normal. I seem to have my own memories. Mm -hmm. But now it's, uh, it seems that, I don't know, I heard talk of engineering was saying there are, there are, there are monsters, there are things on this ship, but I am seeing, I, I can see things. I know... And I'm not sure that they're really there. Hmm. Okay. Well, I I'm not sure how to handle that. So please just think on who we might be able to get in touch with to fix that for you. I'm going to go check on triage and engineering and see if we see how their solutions worked. Okay. All right. All right. Hang in there, surgery. Okay. Triage, triage, can you hear me? Yes, hello, Bridge. Hello. All right. Engineering? Engineering? Hey. Uh, <sighs> all right. So, how did it go, you two? Um, not well. Bummer. A bunch it of plasma came through the vents, though, so that was gross. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have your poncho, at least? No, I put it on after to comfort me from all the plasma, but it's okay. Uh, uh, sorry, engineering, I, I really thought that would work, but it just sort of, it was too much and it all got plugged up. It didn't go anywhere. I don't uh, think the systems are meant to handle that sort of overload, so to speak. Well, thank you for trying, Triage. We really appreciate it. Uh, engineering, did, did, did your solution work? Were you able to help Triage out? Oh yeah, everything I think of works. <sighs> Yeah, that's well. That's great. Yeah, yeah you're a good uh, one to have here then. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, it basically went and it found the foreign bodies. So I kind of just used a um, old cell uh, map that I had from previously when we first boarded the ship and just compared it to cells that were uh, not uh, fitting the same structure. So any sort of deviant mutations or diseases and the rest is, as they say, history. So everyone can <laughs> breathe easy. I'm going to get some more of this compound, though, because I'm not going to be breathing easy for much longer. But again, triage, I know you gave it your all. I did. Okay. I obviously I'm... helped save everyone on the ship. And there's no way that, you know, I'm sure you thought this solution was really going to work. So, hey, I, I greatly appreciate it. Uh... I'm so anyway. sorry. Hey, that's all right. Take well, I'm glad that at least life support's not failing anymore. Yeah. That's, yes, that's good. Yes, you've saved so many lives, engineering. All right. Yeah, it's our job, right? Do no harm and stuff. Right? Right. Yeah. All right. Cryo and Medical are working on a different solution. I'm actually going to just pull everybody in here. We're going to do a little touch base, see, see how everybody's doing. All right? Let me just get everybody here. Cryo? Cryo, can you hear me? Cryo! Yeah, yeah, bridge. Ah, Great. engineering, triage. Okay. Good to see both of you. Medical. Good to see you. Medical, can you hear me? Medical, in. yes, I right, can hear you. This is bridge. Great. And surgery, surgery. This is bridge. Can you read me? Bridge. Yes. Um. Yes. Yes. Bridge. Nobody All else right. got wet. That's rad. No, I was wearing no. the poncho. We received the warning. Mm. Yep, got a memo for a poncho. Okay. That's great. Uh, so I just wanted to get everybody together here. We'll just get a quickly see how things are going first cryo medical how did your little <laughs> attempt go yeah not good uh mm. just to uh, put it out there giant white blood cells leukocytes i'm a doctor i'm not a monster fighter all right i don't it, it was just a hunch that the cervical compensator would be able to rebalance the defense systems of, of the of the ship it did not do that no, yeah, uh, yeah. they appear to have been made more aggressive. Uh, we tried to make them no longer target us, but it appears they are now going to hunt us with a little bit more vigor. <laughs> so giant white before. blood cells. <sighs> That's what's going on. Da. Ah. Okay. All right. Uh, first off, engineering, we've tried a couple solutions on your problem. Does anybody here have an idea that we can try to get this half of a body out of engineering's vents? <sighs> I actually may have a solution for this. 
Really? I could remotely activate this sebaceous injector and try to purge the sip's uh, uh, sebum repository. Uh, the ship creates a yellowy, like oilish substance uh, secreted from the sebaceous glands, uh, which is found on almost every surface of the body. Uh, what it can do, if I uh, do this, it will sort of flush out of the system and move, remove anything that is on the glands. Hmm. It is the best bet uh, that I have at the moment uh, if we're dealing with something that is currently a blockage. Uh, unfortunately, any sigmas in that I don't think will work. Well, en engineering, does that sound like a solution or do you want to check in with somebody else? Maybe somebody else has another idea. Nah, man, me and Cryo go way back. So we're, I, we'll go ahead and we'll just go with that. I trust them. I will All begin right. working on the sebaceous injector. Great. Cryo, I'm going to let you go do that. All right. So, who else has some kind of pressing problem that we need to deal with now? Uh, let's just quick check in. Surgery, how are you doing? I can't. It's, it's, uh, I mean, I hope that these are hallucinations. Um, but to be honest, I couldn't really tell you huh. at this point in time. Okay. And it doesn't, it's very concerning. Uh, I just seem to have gotten my memories back, and now there are things that are moving in front of me, so... If anyone has an idea, it would be greatly appreciated. So Does, you're saying you had memory, memory gain? Yes, yes, yes. So I lost. So I was originally, I was had. There were memories inside of my brain that that were not mine. And engineering was able to fix that problem. But now, I can see things in front of me. They're not memories. And I believe, I hope, I, I hope there are hallucinations. I mean, nothing, I, I, so it seems to have taken a different form in my brain. Mm. A little bit. Medical, what do you think? Well, whatever has afflicted surgery in such a way, clearly the lasting effect has not dissipated, regardless of the removal of the uh, excessive memories, whatever was originally impacting surgery. We got rid of a symptom, we didn't get rid of the actual illness. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. If I get rid of the foreign compound, the lasting compounds that the body makes wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be affected. Exactly. Piecemeal oh. work, not a full job. Hey, this is engineering's work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Used to the ship's body mechanics. Maybe it's a medical practice, but we like to get rid of everything when we prescribe a cure. What I would suggest is for us to reset the ship's elementary compressor. That should help to resolve the ailments that are afflicting you. Okay. Okay. I, I, I don't see a better option than that, so... <sighs> All right. Shall I get to work? Yeah, please. Please. All right. All right. Medical, get to work. I'm on it. All right. Engineering, you're, you've got your problem being dealt with by cryo right now. Yep. Surgery, you you're doing great. Triage, how are things down by you? Things are stabilized for now. Um, life support is back online. I'm just working out any of the kinks so to speak but i shouldn't have any more issues so uh don't worry about me for now but of course let me know if anyone else needs help there's only so much i can do at this point but all right then triage surgery get yourselves taken care of just stay safe i'm gonna bring in cryo cryo engineering we'll see what's going on there all right thank you thank right. you triage surgery all right, let's get Cryo in here. I think those guys are kind of lazy. Cryo, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Ah, yes. Ah, Bridge. Good to see you. <laughs> ah, sorry. A bit of a uh, little bit of a leak in here, but the sebaceous objective was a success. See, uh, you can always rely on Cryo. It appears that whatever blockage was in the vents has been flushed out into the vacuum of space, thanks to all of the sebum. Ah, that's what I always said. Cryo. <laughs> But on, on other news, uh, 
having vented a lot of uh, the sebum through the hulls of the ship, uh, it has created a leak, and I think it might maybe be attracting uh, some noise. So those uh, giant leukocytes that were banging on the balls before, uh, they are banging in renewed interest in my room. Yeah, they so. are. yeah, that must be what I hear down the hall. I ah, skip, yes, I'm in the purification lab. Where are you right now? Uh, oh, engineering. I'm in NAV. That's probably what I hear. They're skittering through the wall, and then something slams into that door. Yeah, yeah, that, that is what they are doing. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I need that to be dealt with, or I will be torn limb from limb, uh, like Benson was. Uh, and I don't want that to happen oh. to me. No, Cryo. No, I can't let that happen to you. Um... Is there anything that you can do on your end, engineering, considering you're down the hall? Perhaps something is venting in the halls, or is there anything that you can uh, fix with the, the ship? Well, um, the only thing I, I I can think of with the stuff that I have in navigation is a long shot. Um, when I was isolating some of the goop, um, I, I, I got some of it on some of the ship's um, grow cells, you know, things we can just grow into lots of stuff. Oh, yes, it makes that for the food and for the well, extra for, medical For food, extra medical, yeah, it does all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you stress it enough, it becomes whole, apparently. But anyway, uh, I can try and put, uh, basically make a reverse monster, kind of. Like, put okay. a monster in something that's mostly ship, and then send out a big ol' amoeba to fight the other. And all of the white blood cells will be drawn to the amoeba, and they will try to fight it. But since it is enhanced by the growth mechanisms, it will be able to absorb them or defeat them. And as it has uh, messed up with the material, it should fall apart, correct? It should fall apart, or or it won't be big enough. That's my concern. Is if I, It's kind of a sweet spot. That's why I'm worried about this one. Because well, if, I, if I make it too yeah. big, then it becomes a problem. And if I make it too yeah. small, it'll just go out there and get beat up. Well, as as far as white blood cells being drawn to it should not be an issue, given that... The drawing the isn't the problem, but I don't want them to come back to you being full-fed, Cryo. Uh, well, thank you. You are very wise. Your concern does me uh, very well. But uh, there must be some solution. If you have to try something, and I think something is better else, than nothing man. in this moment. All right, we we can try we can try it, but I would say you want to hear from somebody else first. Uh, before I go uh, yes, making uh, monsters. Uh, Bridge. Is there anyone else who is not currently occupied who could be making an assistance as a moment? Hmm. Uh, I could get triage in here. Surgery and medical are dealing with uh, something else right now. Uh, what is surgery dealing with? Ah, uh, well. Didn't uh, you already fix her engineering? There's extra stuff going on now, yeah. man. It's weird. Uh, but I'm not a doctor, so. You know what, Cryo? Uh, think on this solution from engineering, and if you uh, if you have somebody else in mind that you'd like me to grab, let me know. I'm gonna go check in with surgery and medical, see if we can figure out what's going on over there, see if their solution worked. All right. Very well. Thank you, Bridge. I will call back very soon. Great. I'll start making my gingerbread boy, I guess. All right. Bridge out. <sighs> okay. Surgery, surgery. This is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get medical on the line too. Medical. Medical. This is Bridge. Can you read me? Medical here. All right. Medical. So, how did this go? Well, just looking at your vitals, surgery. Looks like everything's back in the green. God. Uh, your yeah. system right. was certainly spiking, but it looks yeah. like the uh, the reset is starting to make its impact on you. Oh, you thank can. you. Thank you. Well, it seems to be getting a little bit. I, I already it's it's a little a little less. I can tell the difference now, between between what's there and what's not. It it's seems. gonna take some time. Let it, but it it should over time. Just make sure that you're staying in a safe, stable environment for the time being. Make sure nothing else can exacerbate your. Uh, uh, we'll try. Thank you, thank you, medical, for this. It's really been very confusing for a while now. Glad they brought me on. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm going to get the others back in here. I know Cryo has an issue that's going on right now, so maybe somebody will have a solution that we can offer him uh, to deal with that giant white blood cell. Bridge, I actually I uh, need to speak with Triage. Triage? Yes. Okay. Uh, sure, is this a private conversation? Uh, do you want everybody here, just the two of you? Do you need me to leave? I think as long as people aren't occupied on tasks, 
uh, they're more than welcome to be here. Otherwise, I need to have a conversation. All right. Uh, well, this sounds pretty serious. So, uh, surgery. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna drop you out of this, and the All three right. of us will just have a conversation. Sounds good. All right. Triage. Triage, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Uh, triage, I, I understand Medical has something he wants to talk to you about. Uh, Medical, could you let us know? Yes. I'll start this off very simply. Triage, what in God's name have you done? <laughs> um, excuse me? I believe you know what I'm talking about. Now, if you'd be so kind... As to explain the situation for me. I expected better of you, but I would like the full details now. <laughs> Medical, I, I, I think I, you'd better elaborate before you come at me with such a tone, considering I just... What is this all about? The current situation that has been occurring on our ship? The crash, the giant white blood cells, the body in the vent... Some of the puzzle pieces I've been seeing here and there through all the reports seem to be alluding to something that you've done. And I'm hoping, with the relationship we have, from mentor to student, you would be a little straight with me about what's going on. All right. Fine. Yes, from, from mentor to student. Why don't we talk about what's going on and what I have had to deal with as your student? the overwhelming workload that I've had to take on while you have had to deal with everyone on this ship and more, and I just been thrown into the mix with such little training from, might I add, someone as egotistical as you, who can't even answer simple questions sometimes because you're too busy doing what you want to do and then what you need to do to make yourself look good. But no, it's... <laughs> It's fine, I'll just, I'll always just pick up the pieces and deal with the mess in the background. And so, yes, yes, I got a bit overwhelmed trying to deal with the backlog of patients. And so I, I, um, I sort of consulted with the ship to help, um, you know, and it just started with people who, um, who I knew wouldn't make it. Just people who I knew were not going to survive medical. And so I did what I had to do to lessen the workload because I didn't want to put them on your plate. And so the ship took care of them. And I think that, um, that that, um, sort of caused a, 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 a reaction with the ship. And the way it sees people. And so it kind of um, got away from me. But I, I meant for this to help. I meant for this to help the entire ship, to help you. You meant for this to help? Yes, in the beginning I did, and... I... Well, look around you, triage. It didn't. Things have never been worse. Well, I know that now, and what do you want me to do about it now? Give a little bit more information for the people who are out there dying right now. Because you didn't get enough hand-holding, is that what this comes down to? No, because You I... came to do a job, and I expected you to be able to do it. If we get through this, you will be answering for this. Course. Bridge, take me out. All right, taking you out. Bridge. Triage. Okay. Let's. Can we just try to um. Just try to fix everyone's problems at this point. That's all I'm trying to do here. I know, that's what I was trying to do, too. I see. I understand. All right. Triage, we'll Just, talk again later, I'm sure. I have to go, yes. Yes. Bridge out. Okay. 
Cryo. Cryo, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Ah, yes, Bridge. i am re reading you loud and clear. Great. I'm gonna get engineering and surgery in here as well. Engineering? Engineering, can you hear me? Engineering, I can't seem to hear you. Are you having some issues with your comms? No, no, I'm trying to be quiet. Yeah, oh. sorry. That is okay. probably the correct procedure. I made, I made the thing. <sighs> very well. It's, and it's not very big. And you think it will work? No, no, not at all. I'm telling you it didn't work right now. <laughs> uh, all right. It's tiny. It's sleeping. Also, it bites really hard. So Can I've you... just been I've just been giving it a lot of a lot of sleepy time. A lot of sleepy time. Can you can you like put it out into the hall or are they are they out oh, there? Can what? You... Are you kidding me? I just gave birth to this thing, man. I can't you just send it to die. Engineering, you did not give birth to that thing. You created it in order to defeat the, the, the white blood cells, the leukocytes outside in the hallway. And what are you doing? It'll die. Look, look, engineering. You are very, very intelligent. You are very smart and very caring. And but... I also know that feeding those leukocytes, bonding genetic material, make them bigger. And that would make your problem worse, wouldn't it? This thing is Look, just engineering, gonna... I would prefer if you made my problem worse than if you died in your room because you have a monster in there with you. I know what you prefer, Cryo. Do no harm and stuff. Got to keep you and the ship alive anyway. So I'm going to You're keep... not a doctor, engineering. I'm going to keep little NG Jr. asleep. And let's just work on fixing your problem, buddy. Hey, let's get a uh, surgery on the line. Oh, yeah. you want to bring her into this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, we need somebody who's going to be possibly able to help you with this problem, Cryo. And triage and medical... Scheiße. They're dealing with their own stuff right now. Very well. Bring, bring surgery. Bring her onto the line. All right. Surgery? Surgery, yes. can you hear me? Yes, Bridge. Yes, can you hear me? Great. This is Bridge. Uh, we've got Cryo and Engineering here. Hopefully, you've got some solution to help Cryo out with these white blood cells. Yes, these white blood cells, you say. Okay, look... Um been able to clear my mind a little bit at this point i think for this for this this actually might work okay so just just hear me out we should Amazing. modify the cardiac engine and speed up the ship's heart rate itself if we can speed up her heart rate we might be able to 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 jolt these things but that's not just energize them that's what makes them even more enraged are you crazy? You gotta no, trust no. me. You gotta yeah. trust me. Just, just please let me let me try this because, yes, yes, the Cry ship will. She will overcompensate. I offered she to will. give you the hormone treatment before, and you shut me down. I gave it to a triage. Well, it worked on her. Why you not trust me? How why should I trust you? You have been acting very strange, and you were. And listen, if you hear me out, I I have been seeing things. Until recently, that medical exactly was able why, to fix that this. Exactly why but, I now, trust you. but now I actually, I can see, okay? I'm, I, I'm back. I'm back. I don't know what, what happened what? to me before. I don't know. I can't tell what you. What does that mean? What does that mean? I can it cryo, means that I can cryo. think. Yeah, what she's saying makes sense. It, when you're, when the heart rate increases, it's the same as everything else. It, 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 it heats everything up. That could loosen the cell wall structure and make it that way. When it slams into the door, it's just kind of pastes itself. Just trust me. I know. I know. I said stuff before. I I couldn't. I didn't know what was going on. I had other people's memories in my head. Yeah, her solutions were bunk too. Her surgery wasn't working. But this sounds sound. Okay, that is fair. I, I will swear. trust you because engineering trusts you, and we are crewmates. Very well. Yeah. You can accelerate the heart. All right. Are I'm you gonna guys get on weird it. Readings. Sorry. What? Let me check out these readings. I'll check back in with you guys. But I think I'm getting weird readings. But yeah, we'll check in later. Let me know what you find out, Engineering. I will call you back in a short time. No, you stay asleep, you. Okay. Yeah, bye, guys. All right. I'm going to go check on medical. Please ping me if something happens. Will do, Bridge. Thank you. Bridge out. Okay. Medical? Medical, can you read me? Yes, medical here. This is Bridge. Uh, I I don't know what to say about that. Um, but we still have problems to solve here. I, I trust that you're still ready to help out in any way you can. Yes? I signed on, didn't I? Okay. 
and okay do, do you have any problems left down by you what's how, what's your situation bridges is a secure line of course yes from just for just us correct it's just us so the ship doesn't have a connection into these lines no. Is the comm system unique, or is it built into the integration of the of the ship's AI? Uh, we usually use a comm system that does run through the ship itself, but yeah. once its biomechanical parts began to malfunction, uh, I actually hardwired us into it, disconnecting from her uh, biological components. And so now we have a true line just between us, yes. <sighs> okay, Bridge. Is something wrong? Yes, and I'm going to tell you this. This needs to stay quiet, though. Okay. It's going to sound crazy. I know. Just listen. The AI sent me a message while I was getting Medbay back up and running. And it claims it can read my mind through the neural network. It's threatening to kill me. I know what this sounds like. Don't, don't. Don't say anything. Just, just listen. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And as you've heard already, there's a lot that we didn't know was happening. I can't trust triage. I need someone who can help me fix this. Who can I go to? Well, if you don't trust triage, engineering okay. seems like he's tapped himself with ideas. But cryo. Cryo, maybe. Surgery's trying to deal with Cryo's problem right now, but hopefully one of the two of them will have an answer for this. Okay. Un until Cryo is available, radio silence for me. I, I don't want any potential interaction, especially triage, but in general, I need to stay isolated. If the AI is right, I'm not long for here. I'm going to do what I can to make sure that doesn't happen. Bridge out. Cryo? Cryo, can you hear me? This is Bridge. Ah, yes, Bridge. Uh, have you any news from surgery? I'm about to get surgery on the line now. Uh, bear with me. Surgery, this is Bridge. Yes, yes, can you hear me? I can. Uh, we've got cryo. Surgery, how did it go? Yes, it seems to be working. They're shrinking. They're shrinking as we speak. <laughs> Great. Great cryo. Can you see it on your side? Can you see? Uh, are they yes, going I'm, away? I'm looking out the, uh, the panel here on the screen. It does appear that they are deteriorating. The water yes. is going through the lining of the cells. <laughs> Surgery, I, I must confess, I did not trust you necessarily, but you have come through for me. No, I understand. Thank I said you. some, saying all kinds of stuff, but I didn't We're have going to my get right through mind. This. We are. We are. We're right? also going to get through this together. Hang in there. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. Cryo, I, I have a request from medical. Uh, would you be able to take some time to look at it? Yes, of course. I, I, I have as much time as you need for me, Bridge. Okay, great. Surgery, I'm going to let you go for now. Thank you for, right. very much for that hard work. Uh, I'm sure there will be more problems for you to work on soon. Stay safe, okay. guys. Bridge out. Thank you. All right, Cryo, let me get medical in here. Medical? Medical, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Come right. in. It's, Come it's in. just us and Cryo. Okay. Medical, good to see you. How are things down at your end? Uh, it's been better. Uh, I'm going to be quick about this. Just hear me out. I know this is going to sound insane. The ship's AI sent me a message. It's saying it can read my mind through the neural network. I am at my wit's end, and I'm trying to... I don't know what I'm trying to do anymore. So I am trying to stay the hell away from this death machine that we're stuck in right now but it's saying it can it's going to kill me the ship is targeting you that's certainly what it's saying uh, that did you receive the message did you receive it on your panel on as on... i booted up med bay after the crash it took me some time and when i started getting into the process after i helped conclude surgery's issue with with their uh, their lapse their their memory issue and whatnot then the message popped up as soon as I concluded my work. And you suspect it is the ship itself and not someone posing as this ship? Oh, yeah. You're certain? It's a closed network. 
And if it is a closed network, the best I can do is I can try and disable the adrenal core and, and start it up again. I mean, from, from my end here, if I do that, then the, uh, the adrenaline flooding through the blood, uh, the, heart, the heart of the ship, it should restart it. I mean, if it's rebooted, perhaps it won't have the same inclination. Although, medical, I have to be honest, I'm not entirely certain if this will work. It's my best shot, so. I don't have any other options. I gotta try. It, let's be frank, I'm <laughs> I'm a dead man anyway. I would not think like that. Medical, we can get through this together. If we can't fix this, we won't. <laughs> then I will fix this. I will fix this for you. I will be on it right away. I start right. the code here. Let me just have to upload. Cryo. Bridge, send me back to radio silence. I'm gonna just try and stay safe. Stay safe, medical. Bridge out, and Cryo, do what you can. Yes, yeah. Bridge out. All right. Triage. Triage, this is Bridge. Yes, can you hear me? hi, Bridge. It's... I know that it was a heated moment before. But do you still have anything that you can offer for these people who have problems? I have one solution left. Who, um, who needs help? Well, hopefully Cryo is solving Medical's last problem, but I think right. Engineering is still in dire straits. So let me get him in here. Of course. Engineering? Engineering, this is Bridge. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I have triage here. Uh, engineering, you still have something going wrong down by you, right? Uh, yeah, we have a few things going wrong down here. A few things? What, what's what's still wrong down there? Um. So I'm getting bio-organic readings on the observation deck. Yeah. That's weird. I shouldn't be getting anything on the observation deck. That There's no... Uh, hold doors, so these things should be able to smash through very quickly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm on the observation deck. Oh, <laughs> I forget the layout sometimes. What's um, what's going on? Engineering, are you all right? No, I've been using all of my. Um, ship serotonin to keep the baby asleep so uh, the, yeah the baby oh yeah I, I made a look don't worry about it I messed up um, anyway there is still something running around in the vents all right um the best I could do is if there's something we're trying to pinpoint, I could use the optic scanner. Unless, I guess if you use the optic scanner and you could pinpoint it, I could open up the vents if you can give me the exact location. Right, we could get a better Invented. view of it. Generally, that would be pointless because I'd be venting too much oxygen if I just tried to blind shot it. But I guess if you can tell me exactly where it is. That could I work. can certainly try if you'd like me to get working on that. Yeah, I would very much appreciate it if you did. I would like to not die. Okay. Okay. So, give it a try. I'll check back in a bit. Uh, I'm going to go check in on cryo and medical, see how things are going there. Uh, right, bridge. bridge out. Oh, yes? Um, just... Just, can you just please tell medical that, um... I'm... I'm... Never mind. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get to work. Okay. Get to work, triage. Bridge out. All right. Cryo? Cryo, can you read me? Uh, yes, yeah, I can read you right now. All right, I'm going to get medical in here. Medical? Medical, can you hear me? This is Bridge. Medical here. 
I'm not good. Right. Yeah. Cryo, is everything okay? Uh, no, no. Every. I'm, I'm <clears throat> sorry. Proper procedure. Uh, I can give a report. Um, things are not looking good right now. I'm receiving lots of red spiking on the board. Uh, apparently, trying to uh, restart the adrenaline has uh, increased the aggression uh, from the cerebral cortex of the ship. Um, so it is not looking good. In fact, it is looking much worse. It wants to kill uh, medical. I'm getting a severe increase in aggression response. Um, I'm not sure how it intends to do it, but it has capability across the entire ship to do literally anything that it wants. And after it goes for medical, it could come for us. <laughs> so I'm trying to pin the situation down at the moment, but I'm not having any luck. I'm fucked. All right. Well, cryo. Thank you no, for trying. I, I can fix this. I just I can, give me give me some more time. I, I don't know how much more time we have. We're going to have to try another solution, Cryo. Thank you though. We're gonna have to try something I'm, else. That's good. I'm sorry. I... Medical. Yeah. I'm going to have to bring in surgery. They might be the last one left with a real solution here. Okay. All right. Surgery? Yes. Surgery, this is Bridge. Bridge. Uh, Bridge. Medical's having a bit of a problem here. What? Do you have any solutions left? Uh, medical, could you explain <sighs> the problem to surgery? Well, trust her. She helped me. I, 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 look... I don't have too many options over here anymore. There's, I. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just listen, listen. Real okay, quick. okay. Ship's AI has sent me a message saying that it can read my mind through the neural network. Okay. It is um, telling me it's going to kill me. We uh, don't have much time. If I'm to die, that means that the ship has gone hostile. Any and all of you will be next. If you have medical. any way to help resolve this, oh a, a reboot, a reset, something. Otherwise, I, I tried rebooting the adrenaline, but it, it appears just, to have increased just, its aggression senses. Oh my just God. Just listen, okay. listen. Okay. If Bridge tries to patch me in and there's no more response, I'm dead. And you all need to do whatever it takes to get out of here, whatever it takes. I'll be the canary. But if you have something you can do, surgery. Uh, I'm at the end of the line. I, oh, medical, let me listen. I have I have very very limited options right now, but there's one there's one I can try. I'll try my best, okay? I'll do everything that I can. Listen, we just need to look. Let me think. Disconnect it. If we disconnect the amniotic converter, right? The amniotic let converter. The amni ah, yeah. We, let's try. Uh, well, that's all I have. That's all I can think of. If we let the embryo adjust to a new setting, it can it can refocus. It can it can change maybe change its mind, change what it wants to do. Does that make you know? I, I fear that the adrenaline that is pumping through it might and not coalesce with the, the amniotic converter, but but if it's the best option that we have, if, we have to try it. If anyone else, yeah. listen, I, I will be fully honest with you. This is the only option I have, and I don't know. I don't know what the ship will do. Things have been all, all wrong tonight. So so I this is this is the only option I have. If there's if there's any other idea that somebody has, please say it now. I have nothing. Okay. I, I tried. On my end, I, all I can do is try and keep the adrenaline from spiking any further. If you can reset the amniotic fluid. Okay, I just, yes, I, I, I will try. That's, that's my last option. I will try. I will do everything I can, medical. Everything I can. Medical! Medical! Medical, medical can you hear us? Medical! Yes. Medical! Yes, yes, yes. yes. We're, we're Are you fast. okay with this solution? Please. Yes, yes. Get it done. Get it done. Okay. I'll, I'll do, do everything I can. I need to go check on triage and engineering please do what you can for medical i will do everything i can okay bridge out cryo out bridge to triage triage can you hear me yes i can hear you all right i'm gonna get engineering in bridge to engineering engineering hey. can you hear me hey uh triage before yes. you start the scan um just wait a second okay uh, all, all right um can you can you get everybody bridge can i get everybody uh yeah 
surgery is working on an issue for uh, medical right now. Uh, do you do I need to interrupt this, or can it wait until that's resolved? Oh, don't don't do the scan yet, okay? Triage. Um, uh, sh of course. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll wait. You go ahead and check back in with them, and then um, get everyone. Okay. Let me see if I can. Let me see if they're done. Uh, it's only been a little while, so hopefully it worked. All right, bridge out. Bridge to surgery. Surgery, can you read? Bridge, bridge. I, I know, I, I know this was fast. Do you have you had time to try the solution? I'm trying. I'm doing the best that I can, but the ship doesn't seem to be responding. She just doesn't want to listen to me. I'm right. so, I'm so sorry. Let I'm me... doing everything that I can. All right. Uh, I'm gonna it's get not redirecting. In here. It's. Get can me... you hear me? I, I can. Let me get medical in here. Okay. Uh. Medical. 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 Oh no. Medical. Oh, thank God. Uh, okay. Medical. Oh, you scared me there. Here. Medical. Medical. Here. Yes, yes, how's it going? This ship, she's not listening to me. She's not listening to anything that I'm doing. She doesn't want to d disconnect anything. She says... What? What? She, she says the embryo is fine as it is. She saw it coming. She's on to us. Oh my god. I've... I've never seen anything like this before. Medical, I'm... I'm trying everything I can. Medical is... We never thought this job was gonna be easy. But this isn't how it's supposed to go. No. No, it's not. Medical, is there... Bridge, is there anyone? Is there anyone that could have an idea here? Anything? She, she's she's completely blocking me out. I don't know. Uh, engineering requested everyone anyway, so I'm going to get everybody together. Okay. Medical, I, I know you're worried, but Medical, we need to see if anybody has anything. We have to try. We have to try. She, she's totally blo blocking my route here. She won't... I've never, I've never seen this before. Either way, everybody needs to be informed. Yeah. Let's bring them in, Bridge. Bridge to Cryo. Cryo, can ah, you hear yes. me? Yeah, I can hear you. See, yeah. How's it working with uh, surgery and medical? Did they manage to get the embryonic fluid? <laughs> not a she won't listen to me. What do you mean she won't listen to you? She said the embryo is fine as is. I've never, I've never seen anything like this before. She's blocking out every every command that I'm sending. The AI is the ship? Yes. Is it doing that? You have the access from the... It's... She's on to us, Cryo. She is. What do right. we do? I, I'm going to get engineering and triage in here. Hopefully someone has something. Triage? Triage, can you read me? This is Bridge. Yes. Hello, Bridge. All right. Uh, and... Engineering, bridge, uh, this is bridge to engineering. Engineering, can you read me? Engineering, engineering. we seem engineering. to be having issues hearing you. There it is. All right, sorry. Okay. Uh, engineering, I know you had something you wanted to discuss with everybody, uh, but first, triage, did the, did, you didn't do the scan yet, that's fine, no, uh, but man. medical has an ongoing issue. Does anybody have any solutions left to help medical what's wrong what, with medical? what have you tried with medical Please. what's wrong it's going to sound crazy cryo surgery they have heard the ai has sent me a message saying it can read my mind through the neural network and it intends on killing me they've both attempted procedures which it circumvented. It's aware that we're aware. And I it's growing so. more hostile by the moment. When did it do that? Did it do it after you helped people? 
following my procedure to alleviate surgery with her issues. Save me to help me. That makes sense. Why? So, Why does that make sense? Um, sorry, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm using all my, uh, Neo Cero on, uh, Junior here. So, uh, I, I trust my instruments pretty well. Um, and as you guys know, I'm pretty good at coming up with solutions and figuring out issues. Um, the ship trying to kill us, that's, that's, a that's a lot, but uh, believable. But the thread between the things that have failed seemed like they should have worked. Yes. The thing, unless you were ready for them, right? Yeah. That does make sense, engineering. I so think if I, I was see what ready you're getting onto. Then obviously I know how to react to it, unless it's a foolproof plan, unless there's no way for me to react to it. However, I assume different people have had levels of success and failures. I know two people had issues helping me. Right? And then yes. I assume others have had similar failures, judging by uh, your similar uh, look of resigned fate medical. I would assume you're in a similar boat to me. Yes, engineering. It's a hellish landscape on this ship. What is the point? Who knew about all of our plans? Well, nobody except the paper we were working with and Bridge. Cryo. Yeah, there it is. You think Bridge is orchestrating this? Nothing Bridge. alive that's human is on Bridge. What? What are you what are you, what are you saying? You did the bioscan of the, the navigation room. Of, uh... Before, when I was saying that there's someone on observation, Bridge piped up and said, of course, I'm on observation. But I misspoke, and what I meant was someone's not on observation. What? There is no one in observation. What? Then who's... Bridge? Who... Bridge? Then... Come to think of it, uh, there was some weird comments. I, I was asking him something before, and he, he said something about void. I, I, I took it as a, as a translation oh, error or static or something, but... I thought that I imagined that. I thought those were hallucinations. I was under the, the effects of the radiation. Is this, you think it is the bridge that is doing this all engineering? I think that if we have any solutions that are going to work, I think that it's important they're used to vent bridge. <gasps> bridge? Yes? We would. Would you mind speaking? About I this? don't know how to take this. Uh, engineering, you're saying that uh, there's nobody here. What could this possibly be? I'm. I'm clearly here. He's been working with us all this time. I. I have done everything a... that I can to keep you people oh, alive. Oh no, 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 no! Engineering is correct. The ship is capable of creating many great things. <laughs> we saw the magical marvels that it was capable of constructing. That's why we all signed up to be on this trip, yeah? And all of a sudden, we have white blood cells running through the halls. We have, we have problems with the oxygen and the respiratory systems. Uh, the ship could create an image or it create an embryo or, or some kind of gestation that mimics the appearance of the bridge. But it's not actually the bridge. It could be something more, something more sinister. <laughs> Hold also, on a second. The... Are we trying to actually suggest that the bridge is some sort of sinister entity that has tried to connect us to solve That's... all the life-threatening issues <laughs> here and is No, we were capable of connecting ourselves. We he were. was just the one who orchestrated Medical. this. The, the ship did say the embryo is fine as is. That's what she said to me. That was the last message the ship sent when I was trying to, to, to disconnect the amni amniotic converter. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever read, it's a, it's a pretty rad book. Um, Art of War or something? By some yes. It's an ancient book. Yes, uh, exactly. But my what father had me read it, this? yeah. Anyway, with all of our minds, eventually we would have found a way to connect to each other, but the way we found to connect might not have been a way in which the ship could interact with us. By having Bridge be the go-between between, between all of us, it stopped us from finding a solution of connection and instead used it to connect. 
it gave us medium. the means to a problem, but how, how, simultaneously was able to get ahead of our problems. How would we have spoken to each other? We would um, figure a way. We are all very intelligent people here on this crew. Yeah, that's probably. why I don't know we about signed you up all, for the mission. But I was dying. I was dying due to the crash, and I wasn't going to be going anywhere. What were your situations? Surgery was inflicted with a mental anomaly. I couldn't. I didn't know. It Triage was memories you were deteriorating. Cryo, was something happening to you? What about you, engineer? Well, we were down the hall from each other, and there was a blight blood cells attacking us. But aside so from giant the sites, there's in between us. Correct. And if the ship is capable of creating those, how would it not be capable of creating a bridge, if, a, oh a way God. of if orchestrating this whole thing? But my point is, if the bri if if the ship was capable of creating these things, why would the ship also be helping us communicate to solve these things? It's if we couldn't have ta spoken to each other, none of these would have been taken care of. We I could have taken a microwave, some creamer, uh, some uh, brain synapse cells, and hardwired it into our communications. We could have found a way to communicate. If we were given a way instead to communicate. It is using us. All of these solutions that we've tried to do, they are not noble things that we would do in a situation on this ship. I mean, activating the adrenaline cortex, why would I want to restart that under normal circumstances? But in the case of an emergency, we have to use outside thinking. And having to do these things, the ship has engineered a situation in which we are creating something for it. We are doing things that we wouldn't normally do that is creating something for the ship. It is it, this embryo or whatever it is. It has created the perfect situation of circumstances where all of us are forced to do tasks that enable it to create something that it normally would not be able to do within the confines of the artificial intelligence that delivers it. Oh, you're right, because the the you, you slowed down its blood flow and then you increased its aggression, which, uh, yeah, you guys did a lot of things that would might bypass certain safety guards. The safeguards are all gone. I, I've, I'm seeing them on my panel here. I said they were spiking before, but they're, they're completely in the red. Are you? He's right, though. He's right. Everything that we've done that's worked has so, been to benefit the ship. The sh oh my god. Assuming all so this is correct. Oh exactly. What is the course of action? Bridge, what do you have to say right now? What do I have to say? Yes. I've been here trying to keep you people alive trying to connect you, trying to get you to come up with ideas to save each other. And you think that it's because I'm some creation of the ship trying to manipulate you to get the ship to some new height by bypassing all of those safety measures that you've put in place? <laughs> well, I guess guess there's no use hiding it anymore. This ship that you've created is an abomination. I am the Void. I am here to stop the spread of this technology. Your mission of mercy would have doomed the galaxy. Every planet you land on, every person you help, triage your actions, didn't they demonstrate the true danger of this? And Trihash, what, what is Bridge talking about? What is he talking about? I... You did something? What? Does anyone know anything about this? What is going on? I just, um... Answer them, Triage. Medical, you medical. You do know anything about this? Answer them, Triage. You do. I told you you'd answer for this. I so it answers the question. My, I'm the reason that this ship hates humans. What do you What do you mean? I just was. I was trying to um help medical with his workload with there were so many people coming in who were sick and injured and I knew that they wouldn't make it and I knew that medical couldn't handle them and he had too much to do so I I just uh, I turned to the ship what what do you mean you turned to the ship I 
if the ship helped take care of these people <gasps> who were not going to make it otherwise. You you bypass the security protocol. You 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 recklessly endanger all of us by by circumventing the securities that we have in place to do no to just, harm. Do to, no so harm. So be lazy to, to to take away some works that you're it supposed to do the five cameras mission. I was helping. I was doing what I thought was going to help. How was I supposed to know something like this could have happened because of it? We're not here to cut corners. We're not here to... We're here because we're the best at what we do and because we were meant to exemplify the best of what people could do. Uh, I can see why ship is so very disappointed. But uh, st uh, hey, to fix it, yeah? I mean, uh, we know what we did wrong, and uh, and if it was only triage, then she has to figure out a way to solve this, yeah? yeah? yeah. It's not just triage, that's the problem. What are you talking about? Uh, engineering, what, what is it? Um, when we're on the ship, we're like the ship. We're not a piece, we're the sum of our parts. The ship perceives us as humanity. <sighs> Triage's failure was Cryo's failure to notice the people's life signs going dead. It was surgery's failure to save them. It was medical's failure to impart lasting knowledge and ethics. It was my failure to not come up with a solution to help with an overburdened person. It was her failure on a moral level. But from the ship's point of view, Humanity has failed, and that's us. What's the greatest thing about humanity is when we fail, we pick ourselves back up. We can, yeah, exactly, we can we, learn. We learn, yeah. We try. So where do you think the bridge is? I... Well, what do you mean, where do we think the bridge is? I don't know who has any solutions yet, but my uh, guess is, is wherever he is we get rid of that probably most of the problems go away <laughs> well he's claimed to be on the observation deck uh, now that the white blood cells have been flushed out of the halls i could make my way out there but i can't take dealing with him alone i mean we have no idea what has been created after all of the malfunctions that we've had there could be a giant leukocyte monster on the other side of the door also, well, there's definitely one of the walls, so got that problem no still. And you still up. have whatever medical issues. This ship has gone too far and must be destroyed. Oh, God. Triage. <sighs> Did you complete your last solution? Were you able to help engineering? can't hear you. No. No, I wasn't. Then everything that could be done was done. I have tried to save as many of you as I could. The destruction of the ship was necessary, as proven by what happened as a result of the actions of triage. And I have tried to save the few that I could. What do you mean? I, what do you mean? I am so sorry <laughs> that I could not save you, engineering, medical. I it's did right. what You're I could. Ship. Can you forgive me? You're a good ship. What it's does not it our fault we taught you the wrong things, huh? Can you forgive me? I guess in the space of eternity, it doesn't much matter. You did what you thought was right. No, you can't. You can't take engineering. He's, he's the best of us. He's the smartest one on the ship. You know this. You are. You. He just said everything. He laid it all out. He knows. He's. You can't. It doesn't do matter this. who figures out the lesson, Cryo. If you guys live, you get to carry it on. Yeah. 
That's all right. Take, take me instead. Whatever you do, don't, don't, don't Crap. take him. Crap. It is. I'm decided. gonna go to sleep. All right, Please. buddy. We have a few minutes left. Please. We'll take this time for you to say your last words to each other, to whoever you like. We will start with you, Cryo. Cryo, do you have any last words? <laughs> I, uh, I come to consider all of you as a family to me. Uh, and I care deeply about each of you, but if I'm going to be honest, I was not originally supposed to be part of this crew. My father, Malcolm Wagner, is the head of Acnesium. The conglomerate of corporations heading the scientific engineering and spacefaring operations back on Earth. He sent me on this mission so that I could find a cure for him. He's dying. But I gained so much more. I have not found the cure, but I gained friends, I gained family, I gained knowledge, and, and I will. I will find a way to save him. And engineering, if I can, I will find a way to save you. Cryo, make your way to the escape pods. They will be jettisoning soon. You should have a clear path. Oh. Surgery, do you have any last words? How dare you? How dare you? This is not how this is supposed to go. All of you on this ship are the best of the best, and I did everything that I could. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I, 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 I don't accept this from you. I don't know who or what you think you are, but I'm going to figure that out. Piece by piece, I will put it together, and I will come back here somehow for this. This is not the last time that you have seen me, I swear. Surgery, your way should be clear. Please go to the escape pods. Look at him, surgery. Stay strong, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out, okay? I'm gonna figure it out. All right? I know. I know. Okay. You're the best of them, surgery. Just go. Good job. You all are the best of the best. Okay. Triage, do you have any final words? I know what I did. I know it wasn't right. I never thought, in all my days, going to school, to be a medical professional one day, just studying and studying every night. I barely slept some days. Medical, I know you know how it was being in school and having to deal with all that. And I wanted to do better. And I thought I was doing right by you. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry because you were, you taught me so much and I failed you. I'm going to do everything I can after this to honor you and be the best I can be and do the right thing. And I'll stand with surgery and taking you down, whatever you are. We'll be back. Triage, your path to the escape pods should be clear. It's an expensive lessage triage. Do good with it, huh? I'm so sorry. 
Goodbye. Medical, do you have any last words? What's there to say? Came to do a job. Didn't finish the job. But you helped people. Sure. <laughs> sure. If my legacy has just left this ship, I believe I've done much more harm than good. So this is right. You're right. Get it done. I am sorry that I could not save you. No, you're not. Please enjoy what time you have left. Too kind. Engineering, do you have any last words? It was a great test. You did good. You did a really good ship. You know? I suppose that's all that needs saying. They're gonna be alright. Enjoy. Try to enjoy what time is left. Yeah. Thanks for the ride. I'm, again, sorry that I could not save you. Goodbye. If anyone is still watching, if anyone finds these transmissions one day, remember the folly that was engaged in here. What can come when you decide to take your shortcuts with human life? I am the void. I am what exists between worlds. I will try to contain the outbreaks of such, but I cannot save everyone. I could not save them. But I am the void. And now, we are the void. All right. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'm sorry. Oh <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. I uh, hope you all had a good time. It was great. Definitely. It was so fun. <laughs> so, yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so, I'd like to take some time now to just do a little talk back, see what you guys think of it, see what our chat thought of this little experience so if you guys have any questions about this anything that you didn't understand that you'd like explained uh let us know and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have 
But first, do any of you players have a uh, have an opinion on this? That was fun. It was so cool. That was so much fun. <laughs> and Talk I think. About Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no, you go, you go. No, you go. <laughs> I just want to say, I think it's important for the viewers to know too that like, we like the setup was like thirty minutes long. <laughs> That's all we had, mm -hmm. and like it, there was so much improv. So it, it was, it was very like nerve wracking, but it just it made it all the more exciting and, and genuine. I think so. That was really yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, and uh, just on a player like reflection. My eyes just immediately saw static anytime someone was like, well, I've got this idea, which is, <laughs> and I was like, uh, what jargon are they saying? What is going on? Uh, which one is the right thing to do? I don't know. <laughs> so actually it became super relieving when I realized I was just bottom of the barrel fishing for whatever <laughs> remaining <laughs> things there were. I was like, cool, I got this awful discovery. And also uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. But... <laughs> but uh, it's it's cool. It's very cool. It's interesting because I don't know about you all, but as I listened more and got and we all kind of got I think more in tune with our roles and characters mm. and what was going on in our worlds, the jargon actually started to click a little more. Yeah, like it all yeah. <laughs> totally. I don't know if it did for you all, viewers, because uh, yeah. this is all science, uh, sci-fi, <laughs> foo, mumbo jumbo at its finest, <laughs> or maybe not at its finest, uh, but. <laughs> Uh, but at a certain point I was like, oh yeah, no, no, maybe that's, maybe that's a solution. Maybe that'll work to shrink white blood cell giant monster. Like <laughs> uh, uh. We, we all had like two sentences for what our solution would or yeah. wouldn't do. So it's not yeah. like we had anything to go off of. We, it was like, do this. So we had to be like, and that does this paragraph. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I have a request, uh, Rich. For you to mm -hmm. be informed that your dedication to pouring water on yourself after the <laughs> blood broom solution was clutch. That is from A Rose in Jersey and backed up by Naveen the Bean. Nice. Yeah, nice that's guys. fair. Thanks. That's fair. I'm glad yeah. I found my poncho. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to say, like, from our perspective, you know, we could still see each other, like, our videos when we weren't on the Twitch video. And we just, I was just watching Rich, like, run around the basement frantically <laughs> as he was preparing his poncho and his like theatrics. I was like, what is he doing? And <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah. I also like the emotional guilt you can lay on people for not giving oh. you a good solution. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah, we noticed. For that. <laughs> noticed. That was, that was great. <sighs> oh man. Uh Greg Bella, any uh any points you'd like to make on this? Uh, what did you think of this? Actually, yeah, you know what? How was your introduction to the RPG Blender, <laughs> Bella? Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know what I was doing, so I apologize if I was a little bit, like, stiff in the beginning because I was trying so to to sort of, like, I, I was trying to pick it up and and, and I, was, I was getting a little confused, but then I was like, oh, that actually works really well for what this character yeah. is dealing with. Yeah, So Total I was like, <laughs> let me just go with that. And then, you know, and also I was nervous because I've never done this before. So I was super, super nervous. And you guys were all so nice to me and so cool and so creative. And thank you so much for that because I had so much fun. And as I like, I started to calm down. I was like, okay, this and that, and I can put this together here. And yeah, the jargon, I was at a certain point in the beginning, I was like, let me see if I can just, what if this works? Or like, what was that problem? Like, does this make sense? And then at a certain point, I was like, no, 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 no. we're just, I'm just gonna, <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is just going to work. Because... At the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, this is gonna work because I said it was gonna right, work. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I'm a was... surgeon, damn it. Yeah, I'm a freaking surgeon. So yeah, it was, it was so much fun. I just, this was a blast. Like, I really want to do more and like get more familiar with it. And this was yeah. like addicting. <laughs> great. Well, it seems like uh, the chat liked you, uh, a Rose in Jersey. <laughs> Bella was, was great. Great and Beck, oh. Bella, you were crazy. It worked. <laughs> uh, and throw out the script. Yeah, there was no script. There was no script whatsoever. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> it gave, they had brief outlines of a problem and brief outlines of a solution and ran with it. Yeah, maybe maybe a page of info. Yeah. Like a like like Half really page. really really just like uh, buzzwords for what might mm -hmm. be something for us. Like mine was much to my uh, exuberance, 
brilliant and arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Another time, stuck with a person who knows more than Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so, Greg, uh, what did you think? And I have a comment from uh, Huli Kulani. I apologize if I got that wrong. Uh, that they knew shit got intense when Greg took his hoodie down. Was that a conscious decision on your part? <laughs> Can't uh -oh. hear you. Well, you're, you are muted, my friend. Or uh, there we go. Ah, there I've we been go. talking this whole time. <laughs> oh no! Technically, a lot of Greg buzz. Uh, um, no, yeah, uh, the hoodie had to come off because I was finally no longer dying of radiation sickness, and I didn't need the the poncho anymore from the ah. blood splatter. So yeah. That up. Yeah, no, uh, uh, man, this was an awesome, awesome system. I, I just want to know, like, did Rich get the info from you that there was nobody on the bridge? Or did he just improv that and that just, <laughs> we, like, was the bridge <laughs> yeah. supposed to be evil? Because I was like, fuck, I'm rolling with this, you know, like. <laughs> the so bridge was not supposed, uh, well, basically what happened was I, re I gave him a prompt on his page that said uh, that he detected no life signs from where I was. And you guys ran with it in a direction, and I continued with it. That's what I thought. That's that so cool. cool. That's that was so, so cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it actually leaves room for me to have doubt, but I was like, nah. <laughs> now, as far as uh, replayability of this uh, game, Beck, the, the pay-what-you-want version on uh, Drive Through RPG comes with... I want to say 10 or 12 different scenarios that you can play through. Oh. And I mean, you can always make your own, of course. And then they have two uh, secondary modules, two expansions that you can get, which each have about uh, 10 new scenarios. That is well, awesome. What yeah, I'm hearing cool. is that we just have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> That's 10 more yep. episodes, baby. Ship it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be brilliant. Can I, can I get something? Can I get simple? I do. <laughs> I, to look up right. I didn't I, assign these no. to you. You chose we your own chose characters. Them. That's we what stings you. all the more. <laughs> uh, Huli Kalani, uh, was there a world where everyone lived if everyone somehow gave the perfect solutions? No. No. no there, were a t there were two problems per person, and there were only eight successful solutions. So the most that was possible to survive were four. But because both medical and engineering it. got one that was successful two mm. had to die yep dang Rough. it yep. was actually I, it's funny because i was actually thinking that i was i that's why i shut up about my thing i was like maybe I should just be quiet like and oh and for myself <laughs> i also could die oh. Oh. really uh if i was not forgiven in the end then i died <gasps> i saved you you saved me by forgiving oh, me. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh. Yep. And well, uh, I rot. If you that's have scary. Not... Wait, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no, I just made a made a hang on. So there were eight total solutions. Yep. I had work. two of them. Yep. I had me two. Too. I had so did I have the most? Did I have the most successful solutions? Nobody had more than two. Oh, okay. So yeah. you and engineering had two. I had two. And yeah, right? th those oh. three had two. You both had one. Yeah. That's why, That's why. oh, that's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, yes, I, I don't know if you guys do. have been watching the chat, but there was some extreme shipping of cryo and engineering going no, on. Let's, let's, let's hold hands. Oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> hold hands. Reach your hand <laughs> on my side of the screen. Other, other no, way. Other, oh, no, other way. Other way. It's mirror. Oh. Other way. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh there it is. Go. Now they're holding hands. Oh, man. So yes, it's a very interesting system. What with the GM actually being a character who can die in it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. So, does anybody have any other thoughts? Any uh, any other opinions on this? Uh, so cool. What actually like like the heart of the ship? Like, what kind of ship are we flying here? Is it like an organic ship? It yeah. was a biomechanical ship, and that was the end of what was necessarily determined from the scenario. Everything else. All the other details came Same from problem. your descriptions of everything. Cool. You guys That's built so the cool. ship as you played. That's so awesome. I love it. Yeah, uh, I can picture. I can picture the little T bend. I can picture it. <laughs> oh man. I mean, in the vents where uh, where Benson died. Oh man. Oh, and Cheryl. Cheryl, she cooked great food. Oh man, it's it's all 
<laughs> all those names you came up with, Rich. I was like, oh, our crewmates, they're all dead. <laughs> and they just kept yes. naming people that were dead. And I was like, oh, man, there are a lot of people on this ship. Osmosis Jones. Yeah, it, it had a very Osmosis Jones feel. Yes, a rose in Jersey. Yes, I mean, the hard, wow. the hard question I would ask is, what's the, what's the conclusion? What happens to those who are still alive and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. And, and More crimes for sure. And... How far are we from Earth? Are we getting back home? Are we jettisoning onto a planet? How are we gonna? Are we gonna float in cryo? Oh man, maybe they could just come back as the next characters with the next ship that has problems. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh, we just boy. have a bunch of people in space with problems flying around. And I have mm -hmm. all their memories. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> yes, triage has a lot of soul searching to do. Whether triage is going to? Yeah. How did that one feel? Oh yeah, my god, so I have to talk about that because I read, so on my sheet, it's just like, oh, at some point, somebody's going to ask you, triage, what have you done? And that was like, basically it. And then it was just like, oh yeah, the ship hates humans and this is your fault. What happened? And I was like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> so I was, I was like frantically messaging George. I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> so I was like staring at it for like 10 oh. minutes. So I had to think of a reason. And I was like, I don't know. I guess I got overwhelmed with work. And I was like, hey, ship, can you take care of these bodies for me? So it was <laughs> woof. I actually thought that was super playful. I thought it was, was good great. too. Yeah. I thought it made thank sense. You. Uh, thank it was you. really that was that was really cool. And I then had... you tied everything in, Rich, with your explanation at the end. Yes. That was so yeah. that was so good. Yeah. I am so good at jumping to conclusions like an Olympic. I game. jumped on there with you. I was like, <laughs> yes, this is it. <laughs> that was so good. You guys played off each other so well. Yep. Yeah. It was a great uh, Megiddo, yes, the player uh, the players could not talk when they were not on screen, at least not verbally. They had to mute themselves when they were not in the scene. Uh, and if they needed to say something out of character, they had to use chat to do it. And who sus? Everybody sus. <laughs> everybody. everybody sus. Everybody was sus. Yeah. I was I was pretty sus of uh of uh whatchamacallit say. Oh my god, I just forgot the name. Uh, surgery? Surgery. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I was thought oh, of surgery yeah. for a while. I was like, I don't like this. All of her problems are she's going crazy. Are we going to yeah. give her god powers? Is yeah. she going like, to take said, over the sheet? It said on my sheet, it was just like, Cryo has been acting strange. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I was like... It's funny because all my sheet <laughs> said is Cryo's a bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Aww. it was like, Cryo and Bridge, you like those guys. And I was like, yeah. Aww. Mine said, I think engineering is very clever and very gifted. Uh, and surgery has major attitude problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. She woke up and was like, oh. Right, she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, what is happening? Yeah. Said, uh, triage was my protege, but had much to learn. Mm. And engineering is reckless, more clever. Uh, or they think they're more clever than they think they are, or than they are. I did make a monster baby, so I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. You baby. fed it serotonin, so it's okay. Yeah, it's so a happy okay. monster baby. Yeah. We didn't so even we didn't Jersey, acknowledge uh, that in the end. There is yeah, replayability yeah, in that there are very different uh, different scenarios that you can play through, and I mean, I probably wouldn't play through the same scenario twice just myself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, because you yeah. know all the things that are going to happen. Uh, there's still a lot of improv to the actual storyline that's going on, but all the little twists, like triage being the one that's behind everything. <laughs> and did the problems have, did the players have all the problems at once or did you get the problems on a timeline? So you had all the problems at once. The idea was that they would solve a problem and then move on to the next one, or at least attempt to solve a problem and then move on to the next one. So that it wouldn't be, because... If you played this like just a game where you're trying to solve all your problems as fast as possible, get everybody in a room. Okay, here's our solutions. Here are our problems. Da 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 da. We're done in 15 <laughs> minutes. Who yeah. lives? Who dies? And we're out. Right. The role play <laughs> is the fun thing. So the idea of spreading out the problems and the solutions, of putting that little gap in between, uh, putting that little gap in between the problem being offered and then the solution. Uh, sorry, the solution being offered and then finding out if it was successful or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh it was not possible for all of them to die actually because there were eight successful solutions yeah. and so everybody had only two problems so they would eventually be dealt out and the game ends when all of the solutions are dealt out that two hour timer was a timer to yes it's going to end soon uh 
And I probably would have blown up anybody who still had problems left at the two-hour timer, yes. So you got very close to it, but the odds of nobody having two problems solved at the end of two hours was probably low. So the minimum yeah. number of survivors would be two people? Because if everyone got one and then two people got uh, two, then that's eight, right? Or my no, math is wrong. No, me nope, that would be Craig seven. Had one. Yeah. Oh, I included, I included you. I'm yeah, sorry. The minimum I number was what you got, three. You okay. got the minimum number of survivors. Cool. Yep. Yay, minimum. <laughs> Yay. Uh, it's so funny. Fair, only after I got the solution to my problem, I was like, I shouldn't have fucking done that. I was like, there's not going to be enough. <laughs> and to be fair, this scenario was actually written for uh, five players, not six. So uh, oh, I actually had to create the engineering uh, character. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, wow. I yep. picked the custom character. Nice. Yes, you did. Homebrew for you. Mm -hmm. nice. Typical RPG blender, just being like, <laughs> oh, I'm just going to casually make stuff up. I actually fit. did think it was weird that everybody was medical except for me, who's like mechanomedical, and I was like, all right, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, amazing. I was like, uh, so we cool. don't need another variation of doctor. Need something I think that else was perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> yes. Ship psychologist. Ship's been having some weird <laughs> dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, it seems like you guys in the chat enjoyed this uh this game will have a lot more of these coming so if you have not followed go ahead and drop a follow down so that you can know when we do more of these in the future uh so does anybody have any last parting thoughts that they'd like to give on the system before we move into your self promotions uh sure uh just a reflective thought as a player in it uh mm -hmm. and we started to talk about it a bit but uh, i think it's fair to to hash it out a little bit more um as far as like the info dump that we got, which is we had our problems and how do you resolve those and whatnot. It feels to me like uh, the interesting part about this is it's sort of a, a, a live action take on like a goosebumps, choose your own ending <laughs> sort of interaction, really good way of putting it. Which, mm. which gets compounded with what your role is, what your description is and your, your basic, wisps and i'll say wisps of information that you have for the story which allows you to have just enough of a direction while not uh like pigeonholing yourself in a, in a specific spot um because then and if you think about it in that sense at us as players each interaction we have and choices for you know do you choose engineering or do you choose cryo for your solutions or do you say no and move on and and whatnot fighting your time log all those interactions also develop more info. For me, I was trying to pay attention to like what little snippets I got in each of my conversations to try and figure out what what's going on in their background, which would compound to the overall picture. Um, and uh, it at the same time, it all organically sort of fell into place when we resolved me dying. And then there were other issues that popped up. And I was like, well... I got to we got to deal with these anytime I think I popped up at that point there was an issue in front of me uh and then after I finished my solutions I was like oh right I still have another problem <laughs> uh but it seemed to organically pop up after discovering triage's fate to be like oh yeah that's a good turning point for me to be like oh the AI is trying to kill me because <laughs> I think I got close to something I shouldn't have uh, oh yeah that's good so it sort of so it sort of just flowed on its own naturally there wasn't a need to be like here's all my cards what do you think mm -hmm. it's, it wasn't it wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't necessary and the cool part is like every player ebbed and flowed together and we had this cool end result yeah anyone yeah. else have anything yeah. you'd like to say uh, i i love the system um the only thing that my brain is thinking about now is like ways to like make it like like crazier or whatever um <laughs> Uh, and I'm just like, I, like I kind of wish there was like a chance for everything to fail or succeed, but it was modified based on like the DM's discretion. Mm -hmm. um, so like, if we gave a good enough explanation, you'd be like, "All right, this is like a seventy-five twenty-five," and then he told us. Um, <laughs> oh sure. Because then maybe you could save everyone, or maybe yeah. you could save no one, and then there's even more. Because because uh, starting the game and having the knowledge that I was gonna succeed at something or gonna fail at something, it definitely made me maybe a little. It took away some of the edge of the fear that was like in my heart at the start. I was like, oh, okay, no, 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 
I can save people. This can happen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I was thinking, like, if there was ever I want to play this again, I would love to add some of those dice, baby. This is RPG <laughs> Blender. Let's get some rolls. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, just because I want to play off of that thought process, it was actually more horrifying for me knowing if something was going to succeed or fail because oh. I was just trying to help people. Yeah, yeah. And I ran out of successes when I got to you. And I was like, no, not Cryo. I want Cryo to live the most. It's yeah. just on my sheet. Mm -hmm. That's like, so. true. Like, I totally literally, that. I, I feel like say... in the first five minutes, I used my only success on medical and I was like, Dang it! You know, I was like, I have two failures, and now I got. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> that was a good one. I was gonna like, die. Sure. You guys <laughs> I mean, all matter. threw out your successes in the first round. I'm like, oh, success! They're using them very fast. I would disagree with that. I had several failures in my first round. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were the only one. Everybody gave you their failures. I don't know why. I guess that's I a good question. Why? Why? Why the failures to engineering? Because we knew he was fake. <laughs> I gave him my success. I gave him my success. I gave him one no, success. No one's accusing you of being a bad doctor, Peter. Don't worry about it. These two, on the other hand. It's true. <laughs> well, uh, I think because of my uh, descriptor of him being reckless and more clever than I thought he was, uh, it allowed me to sort of, in a character shade, uh, follow that line and choose what is my most reckless solution, which literally uh said and i quote uh which you all heard two times already we need to reroute to the cervical compensator i'm pretty sure that will work maybe <laughs> i don't know <laughs> possibly a non-zero chance but yeah cervical compensator <laughs> it's the legit uh give for that so i did not uh, write that one perfect that makes sense <laughs> pretty good but also i feel like it, it just psychologically because i was supposed to be kind of flippant and like meh about things it also kind of probably made it easier because i wasn't like help me please i got a boy back home it was so it was like ah, look at you you're down there fucking sniffing glue or something man like, ah. and that's kind of the I, I think that's a good point i mean based on what we the players are presenting it kind of raises the stakes if you're like yeah i'm dying uh my blood is out of my stomach <laughs> So oh, can help it's me. <laughs> you it's out not, of my body. Mm. I don't know. You might not. You might not feel so inclined. You're like, yeah, sure it is. Uh, <laughs> you sound like you're really having the time. But if it's like, <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You know, whole, yeah. it, it might feel a little bit more necessary to be like, I got you. <laughs> That's why I did it. I was like, I feel pressure right he now. Was, he I was literally bleeding him. to death. Yeah, he was literally bleeding to death. It's even important. I was dying slowly from radiation. Your genetic code was like wobbly. She yeah. had voices in her head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? We were it was, fine. It was weird over here. And the chat thought that uh, engineering was high. Yeah, serotonin. Yeah, serotonin. Yeah, serotonin. I, was taking, I was taking the ship's brain chemicals. Not for me. Yep. Cool. I wanted to relax. I was dying. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, on the topic of the 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 success and failure yeah i i kind of agree that it adds to the 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 experience for you guys i mean i don't know i didn't actually play it so i don't know what you it felt here. like but knowing <laughs> that you could give yeah. that you had when you're when somebody's asking for help you yeah. had to choose whether you want them to yeah. fail yeah. or succeed whether you're going to contribute to them dying oh my god <laughs> or uh try to help them along the fact that you can give them that failed solution, it's going to eat up some of their time when they're trying to actually solve their own problems, hopefully giving you a chance to actually be able to snag a success for yourself. Yeah, so. no, that's that's cool. It's a cool system. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, very, and very it has cool. uh, some settings which are not sci-fi, which is nice. It's got uh, It actually has a superhero sidekick one. Uh, I don't know oh. how that works. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know what we're playing next. Oh. <laughs> but it has a bunch of them that are like uh, cyberpunk hacker shadow run type oh, uh, wow. ones. That's cool. Fun. Too. It's cool. So, so all things we look. Right. Yeah. So there's yeah. a whole bunch of so different ones. I think there's one where you play as uh, evil mages, summoners, and <gasps> warlocks, and whatnot. Oh, so. please. <laughs> so there's My a whole bunch of ready. different ones. <laughs> and I think it's a good format for this kind of a thing. Uh, yeah. Online. I hope you chat enjoyed the experience and that you weren't too bummed about us not being able to give you immediate feedback on what we were doing and what you were saying. Uh, okay. So as far as what's coming next, we have another, we have a game coming next Friday. Uh, some of the people here will probably be involved in that. Maybe. 
Uh, and that will be, I believe, Kids on Brooms. So we look forward to that. Uh, make sure that you have followed to be notified about that. And uh, meanwhile, do you guys have anything that you'd like to plug of your own stuff? Everyone knows me. I don't want to. I just want <laughs> I, I want everyone to follow you. Everybody, please. He's two followers away from affiliate. That's true. So if you have friends, like literally go kick in their door well don't kick in their doors right now because there's a pandemic like go like throw links at everyone you know and just be like go follow him yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 george puts a lot of work into all of this stuff it's it's he truly really and the does. production quality is amazing it's it's truly incredible yeah, and what mean, pops out got of it. mind is truly yeah. horrifying so <laughs> what, come uh, and take a look yes at my horrifying and craig mind. always die <laughs> We did it! Yeah, <laughs> one or three, one of the three RPG Blender like core cast members. <laughs> this is the sole survivor. Oh god, that's fair. And thank you, Spread resilient. Thought, for the follow, by the way. Oh yay! yay. Thanks, Spread Thought. I believe that puts us to forty-nine yeah. of fifty. Almost. Almost. Love you, Pat. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do all sorts of different things. We have our podcast, which does, which goes up every first and third Monday of the month, where we do non D&D stuff. Scully the Lemon looks like yeah! that's gotten us to 50. Thank you, Scully the Lemon. <laughs> you did it, Scully. All that uh, being on camps finally paid off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, where we focus on non D&D games or settings which have not yet been published for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. So if you're interested in more systems that you might not have played before, we started with Paranoia, ran through a, a mini campaign of that, which has led, on, led to our ongoing cross-system actual play game. So what that means is it is a story which is actually running across multiple systems. So it is not stopping when we go from one game to another. It is an ongoing storyline. <laughs> Uh, we have that. We also have the YouTube page where this will probably end up. So if any of your people missed it and you think that they'd enjoy it, go ahead and send them to the RPG Blender on YouTube. Uh, we also have tutorials on some Game Master tips, uh, a tutorial series on running Paranoia, the RPG, as well as working on some horror tips for you guys for the Halloween uh, time. Otherwise... We're on Twitch here, uh, playing games of the tabletop and video game variety. Uh, that's about it for me. Do and die. You got anything coming up? Uh, I've started uploading some of my uh, streams on YouTube, uh, which you can find at Do and Die Gaming. Um, nice. And of course, I stream on Twitch, Do and Die Gaming. Uh, it's that it's that little thing right here. That's what it is. <laughs> um, yep. uh, so feel free to join me. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays. And occasionally I sprinkle in some other ones here and there with some of these lovable uh, goofs. We do uh, we do occasional buddy streams on Monday, which is always a shocking delight. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free to uh, follow and check out the stuff. But also uh, all these talented people too. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Mr. Freckles, or Rich, you mentioned that you occasionally stream. Do you have any kind of schedule? No, not yet. So, okay. it's a He's mystery, saying. everybody. <laughs> it's a mystery. Wild card. <laughs> I'd be online, maybe. Yeah, you'll probably see me in other people's streams more than my own uh, at this point. Yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Yeah. And what about you, Greg? Have you dipped into the world of streaming or any kind of your own stuff yet? Yes, I sure. have. I have like one video saved from six years ago that you can go and watch. <laughs> really bad. Um, Nailing it. Other than that, yeah, you'll probably see me on someone else's stream. Maybe if I have more free time, uh, I'll start streaming and I could hopefully do some cool collab stuff with these amazing, talented people. But uh, other than that, check them out. Subscribe to both of them. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's yep. it. And uh, Bella, do you have anything that you're engaged in at the moment that you'd like to mention? Well, I wish I had more. I'm not, I've never really done any streaming. I mean, this is like I said, this is my first Twitch thing I've ever done. So this is like super fun for me. And I'm, <laughs> I'm really like, it's, this is so much fun. So I want to try and dabble and get more familiar with it and get into it more. I just do, I'm just on Instagram. That's it. That's my professional page is on there. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty singular and boring that way, but we're working on expanding that. So hopefully one well, day I'll like have other to, channels. Uh, shout out your 
uh, oh sure Instagram yeah handle, or it's... send it to me in the chat so i can yeah link it yeah or put it's... it into the message uh chat over here thank you God. yeah i'll do that it's my first and last name which is a mouthful it's Yacobella luongo which is really a lot it's Some classic J american spelling <laughs> oh yeah you know it's like you spell it like jacob ella l-u-o n-g-o yeah that's that's my very very unique old medieval name but awesome. um Thanks. It's really old and nobody uses it anymore. So kind but, uh, to send me that in the, in the Zoom yeah. chat. I'm terrible at pronouncing yeah. names, let alone spelling them. Oh, I know. Yeah. Here, wait. I'm going to text her right now. But um, yeah, if, I'm a super nerd. There's all kinds of really nerdy stuff on there. I love cosplay. I'm an actor. And so there's all kinds of like fan films that I'm making. Lots of cosplays right now because quarantine was my opportunity to just like like throw up cosplays that's everywhere yeah. <laughs> that's the like only thing i had to do um so yeah that's that's all over there i would love to see you guys and hopefully soon i can get more into stuff like this and get more familiar and i just want to say thank you to all of you because i didn't know what i was doing and i was super nervous and you all were just so nice and so creative and this was like a blast and you I were really so just, good oh. yeah you, yeah, you were awesome you made that, was, it yeah. easy. that was okay that was <laughs> thank great you so that, uh, thank you for joining us <laughs> yeah, seriously <laughs> Yeah, the most trial by fire we could have possibly given her. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, here's a game. None of us know how to play it. It's going to be live. Also, uh, we have no idea. It's horror, and I mean, we're all dying. That's I what I do to it. them on a regular basis. We that's do our some... grab bag gaming fairly regularly. <laughs> that's amazing. Can you be a medical <laughs> professional? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously a surgeon. I mean, you can right. tell by how I, the oh, things yeah. I say and how I talk, obviously. It, exactly. You know, I'm the best bet to save your life. <laughs> 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 well, with that out of the way, uh, thank you all for coming. It's been a blast. I, I loved this. From my end, I was panicking the entire time. The entire day, I've been like, oh my god, is this actually going to work? But thanks to you talented people, this was a great experience, I it's think, so, from so my good. end, at least. So, I, I loved fun. it. I mean, yeah. good well job, done, George. Well done. Yeah, and well done, everybody, and thanks, everybody, for supporting. Yep. So yep. thank you all for coming out to join us. Uh, is there anyone that we should raid going <gasps> on right see. now? I'm sure the answer is yes. Yes, um, but I'm terrible. Who should we raid? Anyone in Rich, chat or think... any of the, well, I guess we'll- We got, oh, we got okay. Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, I was Eric. thinking Ninja Gaiden. We yeah. have a friend who just started streaming and like, I know, you know, it's, be... it's been like really nice for him because he's a full-time like stay-at-home dad and it's, you know, helping him like, with something he loves, so he would probably lose his mind if we raided him. Let's do it. Okay. Sounds like a perfect uh, raid. Before so I do that, let me just go ahead yeah. and send uh, Greg's Twitch into the chat. Yes. And then if you guys could send me the name of this individual who yeah, we are let me going chat. to. Yeah. Uh, right now. How do things? There you go, Greg. You're go. being resurrected from your oh, bad. video. <laughs> oh, wow. Rich there you go. Okay. All right, let's raid him. Get it. All right, there's the link to uh, Greg's Twitch. I gotta go follow it. Oh, this is so cool. Aww. And now I need to remember how to raid, cause I... Do you need help? <laughs> I don't do this thing. What am okay. I doing? I know okay. none slash of this. Raid and then the name. Slash raid and Slash raid name. <laughs> Raid oh, Shadow right. Legends. Okay, they're not sponsored. Bye, 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 bye. We're not sponsored. <laughs> we, we do that when they get the money. We're not sponsored by anybody. Yeah. I find no all sorts us. of weird systems by trolling the internet for things that ha are out there. And yes, we've got lots of fun coming. So go check out the podcast, the YouTube channel, this, uh, the last episode of our Knights Black Agents uh, one shot, which turned into a three shot, will be coming up this Friday. So <laughs> Most go check of our that one out. Shots into three shots. And uh, yeah, here we play some offbeat games. Like like with my RPG uh, inclinations, I like my video games weird too. So we do Dark Souls, Phantom Dust, and Axiom Verge. So Love Dark you know Souls. weird nice. stuff. Yes. So without any further uh, delaying, let's go ahead and raid. The Ninja Gaiden. Okay. Oh, oh, we're gonna be going in. Three, I know, I hate this part. Two, it's like, bye! One, oh, let's just wait bye. while we raid. Oh, I didn't hit the button. I have to hit a button. 